What is going on, everyone? It's Mike Pence, Pence Mike, Pike Mence, back with another, no, it's DJ Mike Pence, uh, with another video. Today, I'm just going to be pumping out um, some Lorne prison calls with him and Emma and Lenny. Uh, happy Mother's Day, to, happy Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day, I can't even speak to everybody, to all the moms out there, uh, or not moms. Um, so yeah, kick back, relax, and enjoy. I'll be popping in and out, uh, but I'm just gonna mostly let it play. So you have to hear Mike Pence's stupid commentary. Uh, definitely soon, I'm gonna want to do a uh, analyzation. Some of these new heelborn calls are they're they're, they're fucking great. Um, I just w listened to one uh, today with Lauren, and he was what was even going on? The same bullshit as always. Um, begging Jamie Amy and uh, doing a deal to get him she was like oh I'll give you a deal if I'll talk to Stacy with the PO or whoever um, if I can tell her about the naked photos which she freaks out about so he's continually pressuring her with probation and everything so yeah what's going on cash money the time machine what's going on guys I'm gonna play some calls I'm gonna shut the F up let the uh, calls play. I might pop in here and there, but uh, DJ Pence will be in the chat log or chats. So, yep. Without further ado, this is just gonna be. It's just gonna keep playing a bunch of calls. This is like the first one, I think. Uh, so let me see. This is dated August thirteenth. I almost said nineteen ninety nine, two thousand nineteen. Enjoy. And let me know if the guys can hear the audio and everything. I want to make sure everything's good. Hello. Yes. I'm um, barely. Who's this? Barely. Do you know who this is, right? No, it's it's. There's a really bad connection, but um, Dan. No, this is Lauren. Oh, oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> Can you hear me better? Or are you in a bad area or what? I was in my car driving. I just got to California. Have you been trying to call me today? It, no, this, this is the first time. Oh, okay. You're letting me use phone the office. I won't have any money on my account until tomorrow. Oh. So I can't can't use it, the other other phone until tomorrow, so let me use this one here again. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, I thought you were going. No, I didn't want to cut you off. <laughs> I'm excited to hear you for once. I don't want to interrupt you. Was you able to do anything yesterday? Yeah, did you, night, I, I did. As soon as Call we hung up, I called Chris Hansen. I told him that um, you would like to just sit down across from him and tell him some things, that it won't be an interview. And um, he said he was going to call and get on the visitor list and go fly up. And also, Dan told me to ask your attorney if you're officially in the class right now, because if you're not, you can give any fucking interview you want. Well, that's that's the thing. That's what I knew too. Was because I'm suspended, so I'm not officially in the class right now. Yeah. So I can give any interview that I want, but I also have to play it smart and make sure there's nothing in in my agreement in my contract of probation. Right. So your that's, lawyer can review and, that for you. Right, and you've got, you've got some of the paper from my probation papers too, right? I do, yeah. You Well, you took a lot of pictures of them and sent them over to me, yeah. Yeah, and, and I know Debbie does too, but she's on her cruise, so... Debbie, well, did, you, did you talk to her today at all? I talked to um, Winnie. Um, she called the cruise ship and left a message for uh, Debbie's aunt, and... I have a phone number. If I need to get a hold of Debbie, it'll be expensive for Debbie, but she told, she did give it to me. She did give it, Matt, you get a, you have a pen. I'm not, but, I'm, um, Does she want to I'm driving. Way to give it out right now or what? Well, I can, I just don't have it, um, accessible. It's in all, because I'm traveling, honey, I just got off the plane, so it's in my okay. computer bag in the okay, trunk. Blood. All right, I, I don't want you doing the, giving it to me while you're driving. That's yeah. for an accident. Right. Okay, so when did Chris say that he was going to 
be getting on the or calling up here to get on the list. Well, he seemed like he was asleep when I called him. Uh, what he did was this is me. Leave me a message. Oh crap! That's me trying to at call the tone. Him. Please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. To leave a callback I number, I press five. That, um, that I had actually programmed it into my phone under Debbie, but I can't tap to see the number while I'm talking to you. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, have you looked on the email at all? You know, let me pull over. I don't know how much time you have. If you give me like two minutes, I can, because there's traffic right now, but I'll pull over and I can check for you. Okay, how much time can you give me on here? Just give me like two or three minutes. About 10. She, she can pull over, so she, she's driving, so she can pull over. Okay, hurry up, pull over. Yep, so I'm doing it fast. Fast. Yep, okay. yep. All right, I'm connecting it. Um, can you hear me, Lauren? I'm calling Debbie. Yeah, I can hear. Hopefully she'll answer. This is supposed to go straight to the her um her cabin or her room or something. Okay. Uh, have you checked the email at all? Yep, I'm doing it right now. See if there's anything on the, the did that guy that one that uh, clip of my voice that he. Seen um. Before? No, you have something from a wrestler. From a wrestler. Okay, hold on. Who? I'm getting a. Hold on. Please hold while we connect you. I think it answered. Please hold while we connect you. Carnival Cruise Ship, this is Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Can I please have the room for Deborah Reynolds and Julia Dreyer? One moment. Putting it through. Thank you. Okay, I got we got her, Lauren. Okay. And Emma, we're gonna uh, we're gonna do some things uh, so I can Hey Debbie. Hi, beautiful. I oh well I guess there's a surprise. <laughs> I'm gonna be quiet for a second. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Oh, I've had better days. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, how's your cruise going? It's really, really nice. It's so beautiful here. Good. You're in Alaska? Yeah. Yeah. Stop I by can see the glaciers right now. You're in the where? What? I can see the glaciers right now where I'm at. Oh, really? It's really nice. Yeah. Cool. Cool. That is so cool. Right. So, yeah. What's going on? This is all stemming from me failing that polygraph. Okay. So... Emma didn't have to call you. I didn't want to interrupt your... No, she made me promise. She made me take my finger and put a cross on my heart and hope to die that I called her if I heard from you. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to break any promise then. Have you... Have, right. So you got... Are you okay? Like, have you... Have you received any... Yeah. Visitors? I'm... I'm, I, I'm just... I'm irritated with my lawyer because he hasn't call me back yet and he's uh, sharing it on him the other day about calling me back yesterday and he still didn't call me back I tried to get to him to call him today but they didn't have a chance for me to come out and call him so well, what is he supposed to do for you morning. well they're supposed to give me in a counseling class another class if you can give me in a different class then I can get out of here that's the only thing that the judge was 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 wanting was for me to be in a class because he thought that was keeping me from drinking and I'm like well that's not what was keeping me from drinking but what counseling class do you mean the rape class 
Yeah. Okay. So that's he wants me in that in another class. Okay, so he's thinking that that's keeping you from drinking. Yeah. Well, it hasn't worked but, since you've been out. So, did you tell him that? Well, yeah, it has. I've been in AA. Remember that? Well, no. You were saying that your cl- the rape class is keeping you from drinking. Well, that's what that's what the judge said. Well, that's crazy because you've been drinking the whole time you've been in there. Well, I know. Yeah. Hey, I um, also just texted Vince. He wants me to call him if I can on conference. I don't know if you want me to though. I'm not going to have time to do that. To talk to Chris Hansen. I'm I'm not going to have time to do it right now. I'm using their their phone outside here. They're, I'm lucky that they're letting me use it. Okay. She she just told me one minute left. Okay, so okay. If, if Chris Hansen calls that number that you gave me, if he calls it tomorrow, will he be able to get a hold of you because he wants to talk to you? Uh. Oh, if, um, he, he'd be better off to call to do a visit than any, anything he wants to ask me here. He yeah, I that. know he would. I know he would, but I, I, I don't he, want them calling me down here just for questions over there, over this phone. No, he wants and to call want, you. I don't, he wants to call you so you can tell him what the boundaries are for any questions and that way when he shows up face to face everything is the way you want it to be he said oh I just thought um, okay Vince said yes Hanson called down there would not put him on the phone Hanson wants to make sure Lorne is comfortable with an interview and if it won't be an interview and it will be a sit down Chris Hanson wants to know the boundaries Okay. The well, sheriff is. We can discuss about the boundaries when he's when he's here. That that's not something that I'm concerned about. Well, the sheriff's about, reviewing he, his request. He called yesterday. He talked to the sheriff. Oh, he talked to the sheriff yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, the boundaries are something we can review when he's here. Well, yeah, I'm going to make sense for you to review them before he gets there. Because if it's well, yeah, not but, something he's going to be interested in, then he's not going to make the trip. Well, and it's going right to waste now, a lot of time. Have, so, Well, he, he'll still be able to... Yeah, just tell him don't worry about the boundaries. Right now I don't have to worry about the boundaries because I'm not in the class. Because you're not in the class. Is How are the dogs? Winnie made me ask. And is Roy there and at the mom's house? The, Mom and Roy are taking care of the dogs and everything else. Okay, thank Okay. You. Okay. She's already come over the table and hit me in the head, so. <laughs> oh, good. I hope that was captured on some type of camera. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Have you talked to your attorney All right. today? Uh, you what? Have you talked to your attorney today? I know you need to hang up, but. Not sorry. today. I'm going to. I'm. They're going to let me call them in the morning. All right, good. Well, I'll be around tomorrow, Lauren. Okay, Mom's supposed to put some money on my account tomorrow, so. When she does, I'll give you another call. All right? All right, cool. Okay. okay, love you guys. We love you too. Okay, so bye. Much. Hello. Hi, Emma. Hey. Uh, they're letting me call from the office again, so I can make this quick. Okay. Okay. Um, but I, uh, Mom just gave me, just put money on my box, so I'll, I'll give you a call again. And, just a little bit here. All right. Um, but you know, let Chris know not to come up because my lawyer, my lawyer said right now would be a bad idea. Oh, okay. So then, then I'll, I'll go into a little more detail with you. But we're also going to be recorded on the other phone that I'm going to call you on. Oh. So no, you got you to watch what, everything that, that's said. Right, right. Got it. So, but, um, 
He already, he already released Okay, no, I guess they already released the other guy. Go ahead and take it right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give, it, give that to her. Okay. She, she might want it for something, okay. for gas or something, yeah. in case right. she doesn't have any. Um, but, but go ahead and tell Chris, don't, don't bother coming up, because I, I just talked to my lawyer. Oh, really? What did he say? Yeah. He, he said uh, that right now would be a bad idea. Oh, okay. they, they can make it worse for me. They go in <coughs> with that, with right. that after, you know, and, and he's, I'm, I might be, be able to be out of here this week. If not, it might be beginning of the next week sometime. But Oh, they might right let you out for, this week. Cool. Yeah, well, and, uh, we're just waiting on, he's waiting on uh, a fax to come from uh, Behavioral Center, Health Center in Bangor, oh. where I can do a counseling class. And so he, he said that Dwayne would take me back, but he wants me to be punished first. And it's like, I don't really want to go back to Dwayne because I think he's, I think Dwayne is under probation's foot. Right. And my lawyer said that he, he's dealt with Dwayne before and he thinks so too. You want the money on your phone? Wow. I, your phone. If you're satisfied you with the message, I tried to call Dwayne. Debbie, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we stop you? Where's your left off? Oh, shit. Ah, yeah, I thought I'd leave some more next. Mm. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, put it, put it right on my phone. All 40 on your phone? Yeah. Um, but that, that, that's what I know right now. All right. Is don't, don't do the interview with Chris. So, so we can call and tell him not to, not to bother come up. Because I guess the sheriff won't let him. Do an interview right now, anyway. Oh, okay. Plus, my lawyer said not to, too, so, because it would be bad for me. Yeah, I have, um, well, Dan's here with me. He he wants me to tell you hi. Hi, Dan. Okay. Um, okay, was there anything in my email that no, you can tell me over this one? There was just a, bill? yeah, you know what, there was, oh, Nothing with Stallone. There's just some wrestler who wants you to do a promo with him so he can beat you up for some money. Uh, well, for how much money? Oh, I don't know. He, he didn't. Mike Pence coming in real quick. Um, what the fuck is he babbling about? I, <clears throat> it seems like all of this could be avoided if he just stops fucking talking to his people and just rides out his, uh, his, his time in jail back in 2019. Seems like he could just literally just not fucking talk to, to Emma or anybody and the shit would go away. Like it just sounds like he's just mumbling and bumbling and he's so fucking concerned about all this dumb shit with like Chris Hansen and blah blah blah. But it's like literally he just needs to just sit there, take the punishment itself, like you know, take the punishment and just move on. But he's so fucking dead set on, I don't know, fighting his kid. I don't get it. It just kind of baffles me, but uh, alright. Insane. He just said that it's an opportunity. Just what I want to do, get beaten up by a wrestler. It depends on how much money he pay me. Well, I mean, you just have to throw the fight, that's all. Do I, do I get a tag partner? A tag team partner? Sure, you can choose Debbie. She can beat anybody up. She just has to use her words. No, I'll take one of these guys here with me. Yeah, really. <laughs> They've already proven uh, to you they're pretty tough, probably. Uh, hey, go. All right, I'll give you a phone. I'll, I'll call you just a little bit here. Okay, bye. All right, we bye. God, so... I don't want to... I don't want to know on while I'm on the phone with you, so I don't want to be rude. Okay. I, I'm... How are you? Are you happy? Like, people I, are um, bullying uh, you, right? No, people aren't bullying me. No, I'm in a, I'm in a decent cell with some decent people. I'll be happy when I'm home. Me too. You said you were going to come home probably next week. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully, hopefully everything goes right. Should. Are you going to get fired? Nope. Nope. I've already, I've already talked to my boss and everything, told him everything that's going on. 
He told me just just keep me informed. Good. Okay. Oh, I was worried about that. I didn't want you to lose your land and stating Roscoe. No, I know. Me neither. Are you are you doing okay? Yes, I felt scared for you because you know what happens to people sometimes in the prison movies. But then you told me that's not happening, so I felt just a little sad, but not scared anymore. How do you feel? I feel fine, just mad about being in here. Oh, yeah, it sucks. It... Yeah. I'm angry that they did that to you. You know what I saw? Emma showed me. They issued the arrest warrant on the 27th. They knew the whole time they were going to detain you. They didn't give you the courtesy of telling you. Yeah, I know. They didn't tell me till, uh, till I was there and for the appointment that my probation officer wanted me to be there for. And Marshall came down and, and handcuffed me and brought me into the, the booking place or the holding place. Oh, uh, they didn't even have a regular meeting with you? They just lured you over? Nope. Like, ugh. Yep, they lured me over just to, just to friggin' arrest me. If I were you, I'd bring that up to my attorney, too, because you know what? They knew you have dogs, and they depend on you, and you live alone. And it's the middle of know. summer, and you have that ass rash, too, that you needed medical attention I for. Know. You need special medication for it because your butt got inflamed from the allergy, allergic reactionaries you had. And they're just making more of an inconvenience for you and costing you more money. I would make a list of all my damages if I were you. Well, I get my antibiotics, so that's all clearing up now. My oh, good. Is but you but. see what I mean, though? Like, all of this stuff you could have taken care of and not had it cost you so much if they just would have let you know. I know. Well, it's cost a lot more than what they seem to think. If I were you, I'd be a lot angrier... I'm glad that you're keeping your head Damn. cool. I'm, I'm really angry about it. Right now I can't do anything about it. Did the like phone this, mess up or something? Because you're not loud at all. Uh, I'm not I'm not screaming. I'm not. Oh, there you go. It sounded muffled. Like yeah, my mouth. Yeah, my mouth was away from the phone a little bit. Put your sexy mush mouth back up to the phone so I can hear all your nice words. <laughs> 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 uh, Emma's gonna okay. get a turkey. What's she getting a turkey for? Well, it's a chicken, but I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a turkey. We're gonna have a Thanksgiving dinner in August. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have you guys try to put some money on my phone, okay? And I'm okay. gonna tell you how to do them. It, okay, the. the what the hell is the, what, what the hell's the name of this this thing? Cirrus or Cirrus? Securus. Securus. Securus, yeah. Okay, they announced it when I'm you called. I'm going to give you the phone number. Oh, they did? Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you the phone number to it. Okay, I have a pencil. Emma has a pencil with spiders on it. I'm going to stab her with it. Ah, just kidding. No, uh, no, no, no. Okay. Okay, you ready? I'm ready as a Freddy. Okay, one eight hundred. Okay. That's not a pencil. That's you're typing it. No, I dropped. Eight, four the, four. I dropped my pad. Four four. Oh oh okay. Eight four four one eight hundred eight four four uh -huh. six five nine one. Okay. What do I do with that? Is that okay. the number for um it, Stallone to call? No, no. Okay, read it back to me. See if you get the number right. 800-444-6591. And, and then I drew your face next to it with a happy no. face. It, you, no, you, you get it wrong. It's 800-844-6591. That's exactly what I said, silly head. <laughs> yeah, you said 444. No, 844-6591. Eight. Yeah, 844. Okay, okay. Oh, this is the yeah, number to your cell? That's a, the, this is the number to call to put, so you can put some money on my phone. Oh, can you use phone money phone to eat. buy, like, um, a Hostess cream cake? No, because I'm trying to stay away from sweets. I'm trying, cause I'm trying to lose some of this fat. 
because I, I started eating when I got here. Now I gotta start losing. They should keep you in jail. You're gonna be all buff and not smoking after a year. That would be good for you. Yeah, but I don't want to be in jail for a year. I know. I'm just making a joke. I'm trying to lighten the moods in your head. I know. I'm I know. sorry if I'm not funny. I thought I was. Um, I, I know. You're all right, sweetheart. I just rather not be here. I think well, that even stuff. though you're there, I'm glad you're there and not in some jail where they are mistreating you like before. Yeah, I know. You moved your mouth away again. It's really, I'm sorry, it's the secure ass phone with the recording and all that stuff it's doing is making you sound quiet when you pull away a little. I'm trying real hard to hear you, though. I was was being quiet on purpose. I'm just saying, I'm rather upset about being here. Okay. Okay, my email, what what other ones are in there? Oh, there you go. It sounded muffled yeah, like... My mouth. Yeah, my mouth was away from the phone a little bit. Put your sexy mush mouth back up to the phone so I can hear all your nice words. Emma's going to get a turkey. What's she getting a turkey for? Well, it's a chicken, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it a turkey. We're going to have a Thanksgiving dinner in August. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you guys try to put some money on my phone, okay? And I'm gonna tell okay. you how to do them. Uh, okay, the, what the hell's the, what, what the hell's the name of this, this thing? Cirrus or Serum? Securus. Securus. Securus, yeah. Okay. They announced it when you the called. Phone number. Oh, they did? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give you the phone number to it. Okay, I have a pencil. Emma has a pencil with spiders on it. I'm going to stab her with it. Ah, just kidding. No, uh, no, no, no. Okay. Okay, you ready? Ready as a Freddy. Okay. 1-800. Okay. That's not a pencil. That's You're typing it. No, I, four, dropped, four. I dropped my pad. 4-4. Four, oh, four. Okay. Eight four four one eight hundred eight four four five nine one. Okay. What do I do with that? Is okay. that the number for um Stallone to call? No. No. Okay, read it back to me. See if you get the number right. Eight hundred four 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 six five nine one, and then I drew your face next to it with no. a happy face. It, you, no, you, you got it wrong. It's eight hundred eight four four. Six five nine one. That's exactly what I said, silly hat. <laughs> yeah, you said four four four. No, eight four four six five nine one. Yeah, eight four four. Okay, okay. No oh, crap. This yeah. is the number to your cell. Uh, the this is the number to call to put so you can put some money on my phone. Oh, can you use phone money to buy like um a Hostess cream cake? No, because I'm trying to stay away. Yo, so is the call repeating? I don't know how much it repeats. I stepped away. I had to go do something. Um, let me see. I might just skip it a little bit. Play right here. That's going to yeah. not gonna hurt me as bad. So Sorry, It's just I know, what, I know what my probation officer is out to get me. But, I don't want anything to happen to you that's bad. I want everything to go the right way, even if they need you to get punished or get more classes to help. You know that you made a lot of progress with Debbie. Maybe they can get you a good counselor this time. Yeah, and that's what we're hoping for. So I'm really hoping for. Someone that's not going to be under probation's thumb. Yeah, they should get you a private counselor, but somebody who's used to working with mandated people, because you and I know that you just want to go through and get your belly pat, and it's not fun to go through what Debbie puts you through, but you know you become a better person after that because you really see things for what they are. Yeah, and what Debbie did is help me quite a bit. Well, yeah, she's she wants to still. When I talk to her, she's like, well, maybe this will teach him a lesson, and then when he gets out, he'll, he'll um, stop being um like 
<sighs> you know, yeah, like, I don't want to say anything that will get you in trouble. I know we're being recorded, but I'm saying, like, you don't do anything wrong anyway, but maybe you'll stop, like, trying to say, well, you know what? Just screw this. I'm just going to live life the way it is. And you can go through a change yourself, even though it's hard. And your life will be better after that. Yeah, my life's getting better anyway. Yeah, it's getting, my life is getting better, getting a lot better. Just going through this hard shit. Yeah, and you know what? All of this is going to do is they're going to take a really close look at all of your stuff, and they're going to realize that you never did anything wrong, and they're going to feel really embarrassed. And hopefully... People are going to write to the judge and get mad that their tax dollars are being used to house somebody who's completely innocent. Yeah, wow, that's, that, that's the thing. Is, I have not anything against probation except for this. And it doesn't even have anything to do with my charge, so it's just like they're trying to come out to me just to be assholes. Well, yeah, but they also put the thing that you access YouTube through third party without permission and you had a second device. They're trying their best to tie it to your charge. Yep. Dan told me he took a look at the legal paperwork and said, this isn't good for Lauren, but I'm happy he's optimistic. Yeah, well, I, I didn't access the second device because the, the Maria already know about that. We already, my lawyer already mentioned that in court. Yeah, I know, but I'm just telling you what the paperwork made it look like. They made, you know, they twist the real truth around to make it look worse. I was there. Well, Lil, listen, in the in the hearing that we had the other day, the probation officer's uh, lawyer, the, the prosecutor, I guess, or whatever the hell he is, um, he said that I was expelled from class, and I caught it. And I leaned over and told my lawyer, I told him, I said, I was not expelled, I was suspended. So when my lawyer stood up and started talking to the judge, he said, Mr. Armstrong was not expelled, Your Honor. He said he was suspended from the class, not expelled. So the judge gave the, the, my probation officer's lawyer hell for not getting their ring. Yeah, yeah, and that's a big difference. Oops, sorry, I put on speaker. Okay, um, okay again... Can you read some of what's being said in the comment section on, the, I don't know, the, pick one of the, the chat. You want me to read your legal paperwork? Um, no, in the comment section on on uh, one of my, one of the chats that we did there. Okay. That is it with your sister. Okay, let me get in front of the, her computer. Okay, so I want to see what people are saying. Everybody is just commenting about you being in jail right now. Emma put up a video. It says, pray for Lauren Armstrong. Lauren Armstrong is in jail. He needs your support. Please be ready to write letters and do whatever we can to get our friend out. That's her video. You want to know the comments on that one? Yeah, please. Okay. All right. Did I? Uh-oh. Did you already know about that? Don't be mad at her for doing that. All right. No, I'm not mad at her for doing that. I didn't know about it, but I, I didn't. I'm not mad at her for doing that. Okay. I'm Lauren. Okay, maybe jail is best for Lauren. No beer, no mold, no smokes. Somewhat healthier food. That's one of them. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's what I say, whatever. That was dumb. Uh, all right, here's this one. Um, you're my hero, Lauren. I have been studying law enforcement for a long time. I have decided that I am not going to become a law enforcement officer but become a defense lawyer because the little man like you needs somebody to speak for them when their voices are silenced. That's nice. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Hello, Ember. I would very much like to assist you with whatever letters you need me to write. Much love always, Ender Springs. Good. I'm in... Oh, God. Are they good ones or bad ones? How many, how many good ones, how many bad ones? 
Well, there are a few good ones. Okay, my, my pen's just dropping in real quick. What's going on, Allison Marie? So this guy's literally sitting in jail for violating his probation, for drinking, um, fucking up in his class, uh, fucking up on the poly. <clears throat> they keep telling him to stop fucking with these people from the internet. And this dude is sitting here getting talked to by one of his internet trolls. They're reading fucking comments. Comments from a fucking video of him reading his chat log. How fucking stupid. And like, this is what I'm saying. He should be in prison for us for his fucking life. So it just like boils, it just pisses me off. Because I'm just like, this dude is sitting here. Like... Listening or listening to his internet troll read him fake comments from a video of him talking about him being on the internet trying to fuck a kid. Like the the endless loops, my my I'm like blowing a gasket of how fucking insane this person has to be. Literally everyone in his real life is telling him to just fucking stop talking to these people. And all not all of your problems, but your legal problems will go away, which will probably alleviate some of your actual problems. So Oh my god, this is fucking insane. I don't think I've heard this call before, but it's just fucking insane how this man is literally sitting here continuing the same shit that has landed him in jail. Oh my fucking god, this is... This is I just cannot fathom going to jail and just sitting there being worried about comments on the internet about some dumb shit. You just sit there and fight your case, keep your mouth shut, and stop contributing to your own downfall. He is contributing to his own downfall every fucking time he picks up the phone and talks to Emma or Winnie or Dan or De any fucking one person. While like I'm sitting here like being pissed off, like I love it. I love everyone did that, but it's just like I'm just in my own head like rationalizing how the fuck he does it. Okay, rent rant over. Pence shutting the fuck up now. <laughs> and that are really good. And then there are some that look like they're probably sarcastic. Yeah, how many good ones? You, I can read them to you if you would like. Yeah, read me the good ones and then just count how many. Okay. Here's a good one. The Real Talk Recovery Girl says, oh, that's the one from the clinic. Real Talk Recovery Girl says, hello, Lauren. I can tell you were experiencing an overwhelming amount of depression during this chat. Not sure if it was alcohol induced or if you were just using alcohol to try to escape the depression that you were feeling. We here believe that mental illness is not something people can control all on their own. It is okay to reach out for help just like you got help even though it was forced upon you would you please consider being a spokesperson for our clinic to show people that there is no shame no matter what you've done in your history how atrocious or disgusting you can come out to be an improved person with something to give back with sobriety and self-control thank you so much for hearing me out real talk recovery girl <laughs> That's a really good one. That's a really good one, but I can't be a spokesperson if I'm in here. <laughs> well, that's true, but if you're wanting to look at positivity from the YouTubes, they'll get they'll get that to you, you know. Yeah, that's true too. Here's one. Lorne is in jail. We all feel so sad. The person who feels worst is Mama Gwen because she won't be able to get her nightly. Oh, no, this is bad. They're accusing you of incest. I'm not reading that. I refuse. Yeah, good. Don't, don't read that. Yeah. Oh, here's a good one. Okay, listen, listen. Before you read it all, read it to me. Read it yourself first. Because this is a recorded line, so you don't want anything being read that's bad. No, that's good, actually. That way they can know that people are harassing your family. That way they can say, you yeah, know well, what, no. you need to be able to have access to the Internet. Your lawyer can say, listen to all this bull crap. Lauren is being kept away from protecting honey, listen, himself. Honey. Okay. Sweetheart, listen. Okay, read through them first before you read them to me. Because then I don't want any of the bad ones being read over this. Oh, okay. All right. Okay.
Lauren Armstrong. Hello. I am Let me handing to you. Yourself first. No, this is a good one. I scanned it real quick. Okay. Hello, okay. this is Henry Hill, the real good fellas actor. I wanted to let you know that the Italian community supports you. Not good. That's really good. And then down here, oh look, Emma, Emma commented and said yes, the Mexicans love him too. Ah, that's a good one to read, right? Is that okay? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Um, Wes Moist says, well, the African-American community might feel a little bit differently, LOL. That's not a bad one, huh? No. He's just making a joke. Okay, Punk Pansy yeah. said, I have missed hearing Lauren read his chat log. I thought he gave up in the middle because he thought it was a fruitless endeavor. It is good to know that it was not his choice to stop his recovery and his journey to remorse. That's so that's good. good. She said that she... Yeah, that's good. She thinks you're going to do good once you get out of Guyana. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here's one. Hello, Lauren... I have been listening to all of the videos. I can tell that you feel very, very sad for what you said, but I have never read through it before. Please have your friend consider making some of these videos age-restricted because of the content. We still want to protect the children. Thank you and good luck. Uh, they're supposed to be age-restricted. There's only one here that's not. that. They're all age-restricted, except for the one that says pray for you because you're in jail and help you. So this one probably oh. got it confused. Okay. Lauren, are you sorry for what you did that landed you in jail? Do you take responsibility for that? We don't really know what you did. Well, the answer to that is you didn't do anything. <laughs> How many comments are there all together? 38. 38? Wow. Didn't Emma just put that up today? No, she put the um, a jail video, the video where it says pray for you. She put it up yesterday at 7.30 p.m. Okay. okay. It says, Dear Lord, look on the bright side. You're entering prison as a virgin and leaving as a man. I don't understand that, sweetie. Is that like being born again? No, that's... that's oh, no, the they're making a... Ugh, sorry about yeah, that. They're making a break joke. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I read that first too. I didn't. It didn't say anything mean outright. It was just a sarcasms. Okay. All right. You don't have to read any more, sweetheart. They're all great, except for some of them who just want to be um, ramp rabble rousers. Yeah, she want to be troublemakers. Oh wait, here's one more. From Jerry Anthony. Dear Lauren, I know that you are going to be triumphant in all of this. Keep fighting. Probation is unjust. I read all of the paperwork and it is a crock of blank blank. <laughs> yeah, well. Sure Can I do. tell people in the comments that your attorney is trying to get you out next week? Your name is Jerry Anthony. And that you need help? Talk it over with Emma and Debbie first. I'm not no, sure. Well, you asked her to have people write letters. I don't see yeah. what would be the problem if I just said, hello, please consider writing a letter to the judge for Lauren. Yeah, you can say that. Okay. That's what this person, T. Hizzity, says. Says, I would like to help Lauren with bail. I have a money order in my hand right now. Just let me know who to make it out to. Oh. It's okay. You can call me later and tell me if you don't know right now. Yeah, I, I don't know. Don't, don't need if no they need to wait till the third, that would make me frustrated and annoyed. Yeah, I don't don't even know if I'll need it. Don't think I'll even need bail money. You moved your mouth away again. Sorry. Sorry, honey. Okay. I, I don't even know if I'll need bail money. Good. I, they'll probably just let me out. Yeah, because they they can't keep you. 
there. It's, this is yeah. really not fair. Even S.J. Maple Al is saying that Lauren is being treated unfairly. I am not the biggest fan of Lauren Armstrong. However, this has nothing to do with his regular charge. He is being detained, and he wasn't even arrested. Come on, Lauren, get your attorney out there with boxing gloves. Ah, the judge probably wouldn't like that. <laughs> Well, she's she's right. My my attorney knows that too. He, he knows Go that ahead. too. So the more the more people that that know what's going on, the better it is. So then I should that make that, that an words. upvote with the uh, thumbs up, huh? The Al, the S J Maple yes. Al's comment. Okay. Yes. Okay. This one says, "Hello, Lauren. I am a community member, but also an attorney. Please know." that you should do all you can to petition for your hearing date to be moved up. You are merely being detained. You have not been arrested. You might have waived your rights, but you can still file motions. It's not just up to your attorney and the judge. The probation attorney also has to be ready and agreeable to push it up. If they are not ready, then they're dragging their feet on purpose. Please make noise about this. Love a koala bear. That's his name. <laughs> Well, okay, you you can comment back to him, tell him that that all I need is a counselor, and that was that's what we're working on right now. Once we get that, then I should be able to get out because that's all the judge wanted me to have. Okay, all Before let me out. Lauren so, needs is a counselor. All right, and that will be moved let, uh, let him know. Let him know to stay in contact with you. And please stay in contact with me. Oh, look. Okay, cool. All right. Um, the Evil Queen XO says, has anyone recognized Lauren in jail? I don't know if that would be a good or bad thing. I hope he is doing well. I will pray for you tonight. Thank you, Lauren. No, nobody's recognized me. I... I tell people, which is good. Yeah, they don't need to know. Not anything. So. Nicholas says, Lauren, I know you are in jail. I also know you have a history of mood disorder, primarily depression. If I were you, I would move to try. We have one minute left. Mental health treatment. Oh, the lady said we have one minute left. Yeah, I heard it that time, sweetheart. Okay, listen. I'm, I'll be able to call you tonight if, if again tonight and talk longer if you if you can get more time on the phone. Okay. I can make sure that I save time on the phone so I can call mom and I'll share it too. Uh, yeah, for well, it's more expensive to call them. I'll tell Debbie you love her and that right. I'll try to get her call. And did you cry when you were arrested? Please tell me the truth. No, I was I was I was mad. I was my face Good. was red. I'm glad you didn't cry. You don't let him see you cry. Yeah. No, you won't be cry. like Michael Patterson. You'd be Lauren Armstrong, my strong man. I love you. I love you too. Okay. Try to try to get time on the on my phone, and I'll, I'll try to call you again in a little while. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna see if I have any more money on my debit card. I'll talk to you soon, sweetheart. Thank you for okay. using Secure. Bye, Goodbye. Bye. Jim Roush, R A U Z H. Okay. All right. A teacher. What do you do, Jim? Uh, I work for uh, University of Cincinnati. I don't want to. I don't want to while I'm on the phone with you, so I don't want to be rude. Okay. I um. How are you? Are you happy? Like people are bullying you, right? No, people aren't bullying me. No, I'm in. A, I'm in a decent cell with some decent people. I'll be happy when I'm home. Me too. You said you were going to come home probably next week. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. And hope, hopefully everything goes right. Should. Are you going to get fired? Nope. Nope. I've already, I've already talked to my boss and everything. Told him everything is going on. He told me just just keep me informed. Good. Okay. Oh, I was worried about that. I didn't want you to lose your land in Stadium Roscoe. 
No, I know. Me neither. Are you are you doing okay? Yes, I felt scared for you because you know what happens to people sometimes in the prison movies. But then you told me that's not happening, so I felt just a little sad, but not scared anymore. How do you feel? I feel fine, just mad about being in here. Oh, yeah, it sucks. It... Yeah. I'm angry that they did that to you. You know what I saw? Emma showed me. They issued the arrest warrant on the 27th. They knew the whole time they were going to detain you. They didn't give you the courtesy of telling you. Yeah, I know. They didn't tell me till, uh, till I was there and for the appointment that my probation officer wanted me to be there for. And Marshall came down and, and handcuffed me and brought me into the, the booking place or the holding place. Oh, they didn't even have a regular meeting with you? They just lured you over? Nope. Like... Ugh. Yep, they lured me over just to, just to friggin' arrest me. If I were you, I'd bring that up to my attorney, too, because you know what? They knew you have dogs, and they depend on you, and you live alone. And it's the middle of know. summer, and you have that ass rash, too, that you needed medical attention I for. Know. You need special medication for it because your butt got inflamed from the allergy, allergic reactionaries you had. And they're just making more of an inconvenience for you and costing you more money. I would make a list of all my damages oh, if shit, I were the you. Calls, the calls repeating again? Uh-oh. Okay. Let's hold on a second. I can hear all your nice words. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Emma's going to okay. get a turkey. What's she getting a turkey for? Well, it's a chicken, but I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a turkey. We're gonna have a Thanksgiving so dinner good. in August. Oh, <laughs> all right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have you guys try to put some money on my phone, okay? And I'm okay. gonna tell you how to do them. Uh, okay. The, the what the hell is the, what what the hell is the name of this this thing? Cirrus or Cirrus? Securus. Oh, Securus. Yeah. Um, you just had the one offer for the voiceover for the yeah, behavioral yeah. health place um, that helps. They wanted you to make a statement about not being ashamed of having depression or anxiety. And then I sold mugs out front, and I have that money. But I got hot, so I came inside. Well, that's good. You don't need to be outside in the hot. I'll, well, I'll I'd rather do that than Mama Linda go drive truck. Yeah, but I don't want you getting all hot and sweaty and getting heat stroking and stuff like that. Okay. Especially with the baby there. Can, can yeah. I... Healthy for the baby. Yeah, he bugs. I always have to think of him. <laughs> yeah, that's good. It's good that he's got his guy doing Roy is living in your trailer, right? No, Roy's living with mom. He can, they go down every day. So the dogs are there by themselves? They probably are having dog parties without you, inviting the neighborhood dogs. This one, already <laughs> this one already got played. Ah, damn it. Look how unprofessional I am. Look how I'm just wasting everyone's time with my stupid fuck. Um, let me go to the next one. I swear it well, really? Mom spends time with them. Put at her though, okay? Okay. I'm washing her clothes for her. Else. Okay. And don't throw anything else at her too, okay? Please. Okay, I'll be nice. I just got okay. frustrated earlier because I miss you. I miss you too. I know it's really frustrating, but... But... I really need you and Emma to work together on this still. Yeah, she wants to work with me. I think sometimes she's annoying. That's all. I'll try my best. I know. I know you love each other, though. I wish that I was in Maine. I would go on your visitors list and say, Hi, Lauren! I know. Oh, shit. Frustrating. Do people come visit you? I hope they do. No, I don't. I don't want anybody to come visit me right now because it's. I'm not going to be here long enough for them to worry about it. So, so they're going to try to get you bailed out then? Because your hearing is not till the 3rd. Yeah, well, I'll have a detention hearing before that. That'll be, could be tomorrow, could be Friday, 
Could be Monday. But my lawyer's going to give me in as soon as he can for a detention hearing. So that way, oh. so I'll, so I'll have the class and be able to go to the class, so I'll be able to be out again and be able to continue paying off my land. So they're moving your hearing up? Yeah, well, the, the other hearing is, is probably for a different thing, which I don't know yet because I haven't talked to my lawyer about that yet. So, so they're going to try to. Yeah, we'll figure it all out as it goes. Yeah, well, that's your that's the parole. That's your hearing to revoke your parole because you failed the class. That's what it says. Well, that's what it says, but don't believe everything that it says yet until I know for sure everything is going on here because I don't want you to get all upset about what it says on there. When it might I know, be. but I just want to be in honesty with you. I don't want you to get all of your hopes up, Mr. Lorney, because what if they keep you in till the third and you think you're going to get out next week? You're just going to get frustrated and depressed. Well, I know, but we'll, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Okay, I'm willing to do that, but I I refuse not to be optimistic. I want to be have a happy mind about this, and I will think you'll get out soon. I just don't want you to get all upset about thinking that and anything negative is going to happen when we don't know for sure yet. Well, that's true. I remember the first time you got locked up, you told me you thought you were going to get out really soon, too, and that really made it hard for you. So I don't want you to do that to yourself again. Yeah, I know. This time is different, though, because I'm on probation. It's not, you know, it's the first time I've ever done anything that against with violations to probation. So, and it didn't even have anything to do with my charge. So that, that's not gonna. That's gonna. Yeah. Not gonna hurt me as bad. So, it's just I know what I know. What my probation officer is out to get me. They don't want anything to happen to you that's bad. I want everything to go the right way. Even if they need you to get punished or, or get more classes to help, you know that you made a lot of progress with Debbie. You know they can get you a good counselor this time. Yeah, yeah that's what we're hoping for. So I'm really hoping for someone that's not going to be under probation's thumb. Yeah, they should get you a private counselor, but somebody who's used to working with mandated people, because you and I know that you just want to go through and get your belly pat, and it's not fun to go through what Debbie puts you through, but you know you become a better person after that because you really see things for what they are. Yeah, and yeah, what Debbie did is help me quite a bit. Well, yeah, she's she wants to still. When I talk to her, she's like, well, maybe this will teach him a lesson, and then when he gets out, he'll, he'll um, stop being um like you know yeah like i don't want to say anything that'll get you in trouble i know we're being required but i'm saying like you don't do anything wrong anyway but maybe you'll stop like trying to say well you know what just screw this i'm just gonna live life the way it is and you can go through a change yourself even though it's hard and your life will be better after that yeah my life's getting better anyway yeah it's getting my life is getting better getting a lot better just going through this hard shit. Yeah, and you know what? All of this is going to do is they're going to take a really close look at all of your stuff, and they're going to realize that you never did anything wrong, and they're going to feel really embarrassed, and, and hopefully people are going to write to the judge and get mad that their tax dollars are being used to house somebody who's completely innocent. Yeah, well, that's, that, that's the thing. Is, I have nothing against probation except for this. And it doesn't even have anything to do with my charge, so it's just like they're trying to come out to me just to be assholes. Well, yeah, but they also put the thing that you access YouTube through third party without permission, and you had a second device. They're trying their best to tie it to your charge. Yeah. Dan told me he took a look at the legal paperwork and said, this isn't good for Lauren, but I'm happy he's optimistic. Yeah, well, I didn't access a second device, because uh, Maria already know about that. We already... My lawyer already mentioned that in court. Yeah, I know, but I'm just telling you what the paperwork made it look like. They made, you know, they twist uh, the real truth around to make it look worse. I was there. Well, well listen, but in the in the hearing that we had the other day, the probation officer's uh, lawyer, the the prosecutor, I guess, or whatever the hell he is, um, he said that I was expelled from class, and I caught it. 
And I leaned over and told my lawyer, I told him, I said, I was not expelled, I was suspended. So when my lawyer stood up and started talking to the judge, he said, Mr. Armstrong was not expelled, Your Honor. He said he was suspended from the class, not expelled. So the judge gave the, the, my probation officer's lawyer hell for not getting their ring. Yeah, and that's, yeah, a, big and that's a big difference. Oops, sorry, I put on speaker. Okay. Um, okay, can, can you read some of what's in, being said in the comment section? On, I don't know, pick one of them. You want me to read your yeah. legal paperwork? Um, no, in the comment section on on uh, one of my, one of the chats that we did there. Okay. That is it with your sister. Okay, let me get in front of the, okay. her computer. Okay, so I want to see what people are saying. Everybody is just commenting about you being in jail right now. Emma put up a what video. It says, pray for Lauren Armstrong. Lauren Armstrong is in jail. He needs your support. Please be ready to write letters and do whatever we can to get our friend out. That's her video. You want to know the comments on that one? Yeah, please. Okay. All right. Did I? Uh oh. Did you already know about that? Don't be mad at her for doing that. No. I no, I'm not mad at her for doing that. I didn't know about it, but I, I didn't. I'm not mad at her for doing that. Okay. I'm. Lauren. Okay, maybe jail is best for Lauren. No beer, no mold, no smokes. Somewhat healthier food. That's one of them. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's what I say, whatever. That was dumb. Uh, all right, here's this one. Um, you're my hero, Lauren. I have been studying law enforcement for a long time. I have decided that I am not going to become a law enforcement officer, but become a defense lawyer, because the little man like you needs somebody to speak for them when their voices are silenced. That's nice. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Hello, Ember. I. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that now. My bad. Um, yeah, I literally just have like a list of them. I'm just playing them. So let me see. Go to the next one. An inmate at Piscataquis County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press. One, to review, thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hello. Hi. Hi. You have put any, uh, any money on this yet? Yeah, I did. It, I put $20. It should. It, I, it would be used in an hour. I have a confirmation number and everything. Don't tell me I didn't do it. It took a long time and I did it. Securus. Yeah, Securus. Said that they said that they tried to sell a phone to the the people that put money on it. Okay, they say it would be on in an hour. Yeah, but I did it an hour ago when we talked. Okay, well it's not on here yet, so just it might be more than an hour before it's on. Who knows? We'll we'll figure it out. But well, I have Debbie on the phone. Do you ever on the phone, on which phone? I have Debbie on Emma's landline, but... I can't hear her. I know, I haven't put her on speaker yet. Are you ready, Lauren? Yes, I am. Okay, hold on. Yeah. I'm going to put the phones together, but I can't hear anything, so it'll just be you guys talking. Okay. All right. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi, beautiful. How's it going? How are you? It's going. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm good. How's your cruise going? It's really, really nice. Good. Yep. I swam with polar bears today. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, did, did you get a picture of it? Oh, yeah. I have a ton of pictures. You going to show me sometime? Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you mean, yeah, yeah you don't know? That'd be, so, that'd Winnie be told me something today. 
What? She said that you're having your mom work on her resume. What does that mean? Work on her resume? No. Yeah. Mom had thoughts of her. Mom told her on share and she thought she about going back to work for KV Cat if uh, if I had to be incarcerated because she didn't want me to lose my land. I, I told what? Mom that, that's not happening. Yeah, that's that's not happening. I'll, I'll get out and build. Well, even if you don't get out, she she can't go back to work, Lauren. No, she can't. She knows that. She not right. So even if you I, I, even Sharon if you don't get out, Sharon will not. I, Sharon will not allow it. None of us will allow okay, that to happen. Perfect. So this mom saying shit. She she okay. she would do it, but none of us would let her. Absolutely right. Uh, absolutely. I'll get no, it doesn't right. matter what happens. Uh, she can't. But it doesn't uh, matter. Is what the point is. I know. I know. Okay, good. None of us would. I want to make anyway. sure. Good. Yeah, well, you keep saying, but I'm going to get out anyway. So I just want to make sure it's clear yeah. that she can't go back to work. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we all know it's ridiculous. She knows it's ridiculous for her okay. to say it. Okay. Uh, none of us would, would. None of us would let her anyway. Okay. Good. But, I'm, I'm, so speaking of ridiculous, did they ask you to join the, the band yet? The what? The band. Doesn't every jail have a band? Oh, no. No, that's in uh, prison. Oh. Uh, <laughs> jail. Oh, okay. I thought maybe. <laughs> although although cool. they asked me to join the band when I was in one of the prisons. <laughs> but, um, cool. My lawyer um, was just waiting for a fax to come in today from the uh, help center. Behavioral Health Center place with their counseling classes that I'm sharing um, and once again what that counseling fact, classes you know, are those the so the same kind that I was taking before oh they have sex offender treatment yeah it's the same exact class just with a different counselor oh okay but the, it's a different one that's in it's in Bangor. But um, once he gets the facts from them, then he's going to set up for another detention hearing. And once we have that detention hearing, then I'll be able to get out because that's all we were waiting for before. That's all the judge wanted before was for me to be in one of them. So. So the judge wanted you to be in a class. In the class again, yeah. Okay. Because that was part of the supervised release thing, because with me being out, he wanted me to be in the class and get through the class before. Well, absolutely. So that's all we're waiting for is just for my lawyer to get that fax, and then he'll set up a detention hearing, then I'll go through the detention hearing, then I'll be able to get out. Get out until your revocation hearing in September. Yeah, well, until the other hearing, and then we'll decide what's happening then. That. But make sure you, that you're talking to the phone. I'm having a really hard time hearing you because Winnie had to put the phones together. So make sure you're talking to okay. the phone. It won't be able to okay. smell your breath. It's going to be okay. I <laughs> think you'd like to smell my breath anyway. No. Uh, yeah. um, so you sound really nonchalant about everything. That's really good. Well, yeah, because I, I know that this is the only thing I've ever done wrong since I've been on probation. Wait, so. The only thing you've done wrong? What do you mean? Since I've been on probation. What I've did you do wrong? I've, uh, with the with the failing the lie detector test. That's what this is all about. But we're on recorded lines, so I'm not going to say much on this anyway. So don't try to pry. Well, okay, then I will. I'm not trying to pry shit out of you. I've already read it all. Read what? I know exactly the bullshit that you were up to, all the violations that you have. <laughs> what have you read? Um, everything that's on the docket. 
everything well, that's that been seen. filed. Excuse me? Well, everything that's been filed. I didn't, well, I'm not worried about everything that's been filed. I haven't, I haven't violated probation. This, this yes, is the you have. Violation I've got. I'm, okay, I'm not going to go into detail over this. Or whether okay, fine. Don't go into detail, but I already know, Lauren. Okay, fine. But I'm not going to do They can record detail. everything. It's, it's already on the record. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean I'm going to talk about it on a recorded line. So will you knock it off? Please? Like I said, I don't give a fucking shit. Well, you need to. I, I, I just so don't on say the, this, this is the only thing. Any other one. Good. Fucking hang up then. Well, don't keep up the bullshit. I'm not the one in jail. You're the one who's been pulling well, fucking bullshit all, all of these about years. Uh, when I ask you not to talk about it, you don't need to keep going on it. I can if I want to. Yeah, you can if Are you Are you want paying to, for this call? Are you paying for this call? Yeah. Yeah. How? How? Because it's my money that's on the on the phone on here. Did anyone put money on there? But when you said you Were put you twenty dollars on it. Okay. And, and Mum just brought forty dollars to me today. Okay. I was spending a lot of time on the phone with Winnie today talking about stuff. Well, that's good. Yeah, Mom. Um, and Good. work. Work? What are you doing for them? I, I had to let them know what was going on and everything. So that way... Okay, Mike Pence, just real quick. What a fucking douchebag. He's trying to sit here and manipulate the situation to, like, try to make himself sound like he didn't do anything. Oh, I didn't violate probation. I just... Failed the lie detector test. And it's like, you fucking idiot. That's part of your probation. It's part of your reforming, getting back into society. I don't know what the fuck. He, I just don't think he quite understands the polygraph itself and, like, the importance it holds for his, like, for his benefit. He just sees it as this evil machine bent on destroying him, like, 1984. When, um, let's say Winston goes in there with, like, the rat trap and confesses it's julia do it to her it's like that's that's his like mentality it's so fucking stupid and everything's already out there and he's trying to bullshit debbie fucking asshole and he's talking shit like oh it's my money it's like they're sitting on your fucking waste you're wasting your time talking to internet people and then whining and begging everyone to help you out then people are like i already fucking know why you're in there oh you gotta stop the bullshit i don't want to talk about it because recorded line like, yeah, you just want to, like, lie and bullshit people. Um, it's just so fucking stupid. Yeah. Like, he feels tricked. No, the fucking thing is, is, like, he's just pissed off because he didn't, because he got arrested at his probationary hearing. It's like, this motherfucker's been, he's been on fucking borrowed time every time he violates his probation. He violates, he's not supposed to be drinking. He shouldn't be on the internet fucking talking to his people. And then when his people are finding all these calls and you know he's in there telling him telling his fucking PO and his therapist and all his people about his fucking girl internet girlfriend and shit and it's like he doesn't fucking get it he doesn't fucking get it that he, at any fucking time he'd be arrested for his probation violation man he should just be in fucking prison forever he doesn't fucking get it oh I should have just were they gonna come to your house and you know, regretfully put you in cuffs. Like, no, you fuck. Like, that's how that's how the legal system works. They don't want you fucking running. They don't want you because like he could have, he could if they tell him, he could have absconded and dipped out, or he could have fucking done something because he clearly doesn't learn his fucking lessons. So he could have easily gone and done something stupid and illegal because he's like a scared, trapped animal in the corner, knowing he's fucked. So they rather do it. They obviously know what the fuck they're doing. So there's a reason why they wanted to do, they wanted to arrest him on the spot. But it's like again, you fucking violate probation so many fucking times. You fucking not learning your fucking lesson, crying, fucking lying and shit. It's like he th like it's funny the perspective that I get from it is literally he he thinks he's fooling everybody. He thinks he's ahead of everybody, and. He thinks they're all against him. So he's like this fucking martyr of a man. Um, 
so to speak. And it's just fucking insane. It's insane. All this mental gymnastics he's putting himself through to fucking talk to these people on the internet when he's in fucking jail. It's like, just sit there and fucking let this bullshit ride out. He's making his shit so much more complicated. Like, you violated probation. You're going to jail. Just deal with it. Not fucking, can you do this for me? Can I do this for you? And this, all this shit. To, oh, because I didn't do anything. And Debbie's just like, fuck you. Okay, sorry. Pence rant is over. I just had to, I had to freaking scream out. Oh my God. Sorry, guys. Oh, is this the first time you're talking well, to them? No, it was like the third time I've talked to him. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just talked to him yesterday. And the second time was yeah, it was yesterday. And uh, he had talked about if I was going to be in there long, then to uh, let him know so he could go out and get my truck and get my truck ready for when I get out. So that way they can do the maintenance on it and everything needs to be done. So it would be ready when I get mm -hmm. out. So I, I told him to go ahead and get my truck because it could be till next week. So at least he can get the maintenance done on it and everything will be all ready when I get out. So your lawyer thinks you're going to get out next week? Yeah. What does he think? What's his opinion? What's his opinion? He, he yeah. Dealt with, he's, he's dealt with Dwayne again, or before. And he's dealt with probation before. And, and well, yeah, I'm sure he deals with a lot of this stuff all the time. But I'm saying, like, what does he think about your situation? He's looked over all the paperwork, just like I have. So he knows what's going he said, on. He said probation has an axe to my head. And they have for a, for a long time. And I asked him why he thought that was, and he said he didn't know. And then he told me about, about Dwayne. I can that class, and I told him, I said, I said, yeah, I think probation has Dwayne under, the, under their thumb. And he says, I know they do, so I've dealt, I've dealt with them before. So it's not just me that thinks that. My lawyer's seen everything, and he knows it all, too. It's different when you're right here dealing with it versus... I'm sure that it is. Well, it's not about what I'm hearing. I'm seeing the things that are filed. That's what I'm talking I about. Know. And it's concerning. It, it, what's concerning is the way that they act. They don't have a reason to act that way. Well, it's concerning just based on all of the stuff, the paper trail that's there. And it's been there for a couple of years. A lot of times when you say that you're going in to talk to Maria and just sign a paper, you're signing a modification to your probation that's getting filed. Yeah, and then when well, something else goes the wrong, is, then you're violating that. The problem is, is if I don't sign it, then she threatens to send me to jail. But you can have That's a hearing and you can get an attorney. That's one of your rights. That says it on the paper. Yeah, but I, I haven't had the money to do that. Why would you have to pay for an attorney to do that? You can get a hearing legally. Because Matt is the very first free attorney, the appointed, the court appointed attorney that I've had that has actually so far shown me that he's doing something. Well, the, what I'm saying is that if you said that you wanted to have a hearing, that you weren't going to sign it, and that you were going to have a hearing, it would go to the court and then you would get a lawyer. Yeah, she would send the marshals after me until. Okay. I mean, but if there, if you don't agree to something, if you didn't agree to something and you didn't want to sign it, then let her do that. And that's what, if that's what it's going to take for you to go through it, but don't just sign something and then it gets filed and, and you're held to it. That's the ax that's against your head are all the signatures when you waived your rights. Uh, yeah, but when I, if I don't sign it, then she sends the marshals after me. I go to jail. I can't bring in money to pay in any of my bills. Money right, but, but look at what's happened, Lauren. What's happening right now is a culmination of all of those times. Well, uh, I, I know, but there's nothing I can do about it right now. Well, there's something I can do about it now, but it, it's still... 
it's irritating because I'm still going to have to spend money doing it. And probably going to have to get a paid attorney to go along with my appointed attorney and have them work together. Why is that? And make sure you speak up because I'm starting to not hear you again. Oh, sorry. Why is that? It's because... Uh, because I, I don't know what kind of crap they're going to pull. So in order for me to, to be more secure about everything being gone over, it's better to have a court appointed attorney like Matt, somebody that's actually doing something, and a paid attorney, which I don't know if they'd be able to work together or not, where we'll be paid one wouldn't, but I've known that most court appointed attorneys don't put much effort into, into helping. Well, then, if that's the case, if you're really feeling stuck about that, then you would just have to get a paid attorney. No, oh, I know. That's, that's one good thing about having a legal shield. I get 25% off, but, but it's still going to take money, and I'm going to have to keep up on my bills and all that, too, and try to get some crap paid off before I can get the money saved up to get one, I got one that's a, a good one that I can use, but it's still, still going to cost me money. So I don't know, I'm going to figure something out. I'll figure something out down the road or when it's done. It's frustrating. Well, I mean, the time to figure it out is now because that's, uh, it's know. happening now. It's not going to be down the road. I know. I know, but I don't want to figure it out on this phone because it's going to wind up costing too much. Hopefully, I'll be out out of here in hope well, hopefully even tomorrow if you can get the det detention here in tomorrow. But so well, I, there could be there could be a ton of voicemails and stuff like that, like when the repo man is calling. I want to make like, sure? Like repo oh, man? Oh no, the repo man. I I asked mom to send that to me in the mail. Send my tap it one thing in the mail so I could call him and let him know that payment would be late but oh. she's supposed to send that in the mail tomorrow okay parents back in here holy shit I could not understand he, what was he trying to fucking say he just kept the whole fucking time it's like he has overcomplicated himself by doing the dumbest shit ever like Literally, all he had to fucking do is just not fucking violate. And she's telling him, like, don't fucking sign it or, like, read what you're signing and she just fucked him. And he's talking about the fucking lawyer thing. that probation has an axe to your head. Like, Lauren takes that as it's probation's fault and probation and everything is, fuck, is so evil and mean towards Lauren. No, you dickhead. It's meaning like you have fucked yourself so hard that you, yeah, you have an axe to your head. A self-imposed axe to your head. So in his head, he's saying like they're bearing all the shit way down on him. But it's his lawyer telling him they have so much against you, dude. You're fucked. And he wants two lawyers. Like, as De Debbie said... There's a, such a fucking paper trail. He has no fucking defense for anything. They're telling him he's fucked. He's fucked. He, you know, he's dealt with the judge before. He's dealt with all these people before. So, like, he's telling him his situation is fucked. He's not telling him. Lauren's picking it up as everyone else is fucking him over and they're fucking assholes. When it's like, no, he fucked himself over with the legal system, so he's fucked. Man, it is, it is really fucking hard to, like, just process. He has fucked himself. Um, what's up, Kelp Hill? Thanks for joining in. Uh, thank you. It is, there's, there's no need to pay for a There is just no fucking need to pay for a lawyer. There's zero need to pay for a fucking lawyer. Have a court appointed one. Do what he can. And it's like, just stop fucking dealing with the internet. Just... Like, he literally wants to live a same, like, cool lifestyle that, like, everyone else does. But literally, just be in your trailer. Drove truck, you know, drive truck. 
just like and stop drinking go to your fucking class like it, your life is like, here, he has the ability to get employment have employment pay bills pay stuff and it's like just leave life at that just leave it at that he can't fucking do it because he cannot fucking learn and he took a plea he can never appeal or make modifications there you fucking go I mean there you go Cancel Mike Pence up to come well. Yeah, it, it did. It just, I, I can't. It, I'm, I, said, I said I wasn't going to talk on this shit, but I was like, it is fucking insane. When he's back into a fucking corner in prison, he can't even just stop and listen to the people in front of him telling him what the fuck to do. He has to fight it, and everyone's against him. Debbie doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. She tells him what she, she should have done, and he's can't, he, like, those pauses where he just doesn't fucking register. Oh, okay, I'll stop. I'll shut up. Oh, I'm gonna breathe. Oh my god, I'm so fucking irritated and fucking oh. Why won't she bring it to you? How far away are you? How far what? How far away are you? Can she bring it to you? Yeah, she's like forty miles away from me. Oh. Yeah. Is she actually well, today she went down. See, my brother lives just in, my brother Ralph lives like 10 miles away from here. Oh, so he can come in for you. Yeah. At least he can have someone to talk to. Yeah, I'm all good on that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he's got, well, uh, I know a couple of the guards here too. I went to school with one of them's. Uh, sisters. That would be so weird. <laughs> well, I didn't really know him because he, he graduated like the year before I got there. But I, but I was in the same class as one of his sisters and the other sister of his was like a grade above me. Mm. Like two grades above me. Okay. Yeah. But don't delete anything. No, I'm not going to delete anything. Okay. Promise? No. Uh, huh? Did you just say no? <laughs> yeah, you're not going to make me promise. I'm not five years old. Uh, oh, well, you, you promised me things before. <laughs> don't ask me what. I don't remember. I just remember you have. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I just can't specify. Uh, right. Right, okay. Uh, I probably ought to get off here so I don't, because well, the money Winnie sent hasn't come through yet when I when I called. Oh, it hasn't gone through yet? No, to make sure that I have still have money on here in case I wind up getting out of here tomorrow. i got to be up to call mom. So as much as I hate to get off of here. Okay, bye. Hope you bye. Good morning. An inmate at Piscataquis County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hi. Hey. Uh, oh, oh, it's you. Uh, yeah, that's me. Of course it's me. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing? I ran to get the phone. Emma's... Airbnb is on the second floor of that dumb batch. Oh, no. no, she's not back yet? Yeah, she got, she got back, but, um, she went to the laundromat because, remember I threw beans on her? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, can't, I can't stay on the phone. You haven't put any money on it yet. I tried to. It said that it didn't match up with your number, and I don't even have a number for you. Uh, okay, write this number down. I did. I called the number you gave me before to the jail. Eh? Yes, but they might be talking about my PIN number. That might uh, be what they're talking about. I, I don't know. But that yeah, because I was putting in your prison number from before. Yeah, no. Like 228. Two, 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 okay. yeah, my PIN number for here. That, that's what my PIN number is. Oh, good. Might, okay. Yeah, okay. So, so try that, and I'll, I'll try calling back again in 15, 20 minutes, half hour, 
15 minutes to a half hour. That way it'll give you time, okay? Okay, I stole Emma's ATM card, so no biggie. Okay, hey, why, no, what did you want my PIN number to my phone for? Debbie asked me to give it to her. Oh, well, yeah, but she never asked for it before. Well, I don't know. I don't check it. I don't care. You can check it on your own. Okay. Oh, well, it's all right. Yeah, just, no, just, just wondering. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't care what's on there. I'm just glad you're alive. It, it doesn't matter anyway. You can, you can listen to it, too, if you want to. You've listened to them before. I know, but I will respect your privacy. But I don't hide anything from you anyway. So you want to listen to it, you can listen to it. I, hello? Don't delete anything off of there, though. Oh, no, I, I, won't, I won't listen to it anyway. I'll just give it to Debbie. I have a lot to do here. Okay, well, you can listen to it if you want to. Just don't delete anything off. Okay. It sounds like you really want me to. Well, I've got, I, I got ones that are saved on there that I like that I wanted to save, so... Well, I would never delete any memories of yours or anything. Okay. Okay. That would be rude. Okay. I'm going to get... So how much do I put on there from Emma's card? Like two grand? No, 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 no. Nowhere near around there. Okay. Just, just put like... Put like $30 on there and, and then and tell him, tell him I'll, that I'll give it back to her. Okay. I, 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 I thought you had your card. I do, but I had to go to the ceramic store. Okay. Well, when, when you get you when you get your check from from selling stuff from your store with my with my face on it, just give the thirty dollars to her. Give thirty dollars to her from that. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna charge her interest because I'm not gonna be able to pay her for like another few days. So she'll have to owe me five dollars a day. Uh, no, you don't charge your interest for anything. Okay, try to get the time on there. I'll call back in a half hour and see if you got it. Okay, and I'll I'll call Debbie too. I love you. Okay, love you, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm okay. How are you doing? Good. No, I'm good. Been waiting by the phone. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Wait, Sorry. shut up, Winnie. Sorry. Hi, Winnie. I love you. Uh huh? Hi. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Give me. You okay? Give me the phone. Oh no, I got it. I'm okay. I miss you so much. Get away. Let me have the phone. I miss you. I miss you too. Don't. I miss you too. Don't be fighting over the phone. I don't have. I can only talk for like fifteen minutes. It's okay. Just talk again, to him. When I get he cut wants off. to talk to me, then give me the phone. Okay. 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 You're not freaking out, are you? No, I'm calling Debbie. See, she's gonna answer. Um, I'm, I'm, I was praying for you. Matilda came and we prayed for you in church last night. Well, good. Thank you. That's, That's why, why I'm not, not freaking out, yo. Okay, good. I, I don't know if... I don't think it'll be able to connect to Debbie because I asked him the other, uh, yesterday if, if we were going to do a three-way on this line and it won't... They said no. So... Wow. But... But if, if we don't get a hold of Debbie, don't worry because I, I won't be in there that much longer anyway. Oh, that's good. I looked it up online. They said that you're not going to get out until the third, and they want to give you three years in prison. Yeah, no, they they're not going to give me three years in prison. <laughs> no, that's what probation no. is recommending. Special, hold on, specialist Maria Shockman and little Bryce blah, 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 recommending three years permanent revocation of your probation because they say you don't learn. Really? That's yeah. what it says online. Huh? Oh, they're going to get a Emma, shock. Bring it up for me again. Hold on. Hi. Hi. She's, yeah. reading, she's reading their recommendations from, I guess, the Church of Cod is all over your arrest. You have a huge group of people for you, a huge group of people against you, but they've joined forces and they've looked up everything on the case. And that's what it says. It says they're recommending the three years, which is the max. 
and they're recommending that you not go really? back into class. Yeah. Hasn't your attorney told you? I'm looking at it right here. No, he hasn't. Because he, cause, well, I'm telling you, he doesn't know yet, but he, he's, he's going to find out because I'm going to be telling him. Yeah, I'm looking at this stuff. I pulled it up this morning. There's um, an attorney in the community who went on Pacer because I'm not, I mean, I'm not with Dan right now. I'm in California. So, but he posted this stuff. If it's, it looks legit, you know, it has all your information. Maria Shockman, she's a sex offender specialist, right? Uh, well, no, she's not a specialist. She's just a probation officer. That's what it says. She's, that's like after her title. So she might've taken extra training or something, or it's something made up by the community. It's not. I saw it. Uh, I just haven't pulled it up on the video on the website. Well, whatever. Yeah, it is, but that, that, get it straightened that's out. probably something. Uh, okay, listen. That's probably something that's made up because uh, my lawyer already talked to, to Dwayne and asked Dwayne if he'd take me back into the, into the class, and Dwayne said, yeah, but he wanted me to do a punishment first. And, but um, my lawyer explained to Dwayne my my thing of my land and my job and all that stuff and Dwayne wouldn't take me back till he wouldn't take me back when it was on bail only until after I did my punishment. What punishment? So like what uh, like serve a little bit of time. I Do a little bit of time for what I was feeling. Yeah. Rocks. But I, uh, Winnie don't Winnie don't interrupt because I don't have that much time. <laughs> um but he's waiting right now for the other place to be uh, to fax him over something saying that they'll take me into into the class. Oh, okay. The other place that that I, that I and Sharon found. So, but yeah, that, no, the three years. There's no way even Maria would not recommend three years well, because that's, that, that's this the is first time I've ever violated. That's the maximum it says here. Um, I, recommendation uh, pursuant to federal rule of criminal procedure 32.1a6. Defendant had the burden of establishing by clear and convincing evidence the conditions, combinations of these will reasonably assume the safety of another person. Uh, and this is the events described below are the reasonings provided by Maria Shockman, blah, 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 all of her stuff here. Uh, recommending the full, rec see, recommending the full three-year mandatory sentence in prison after the hearing yeah. scheduled September 3rd, Judge Woodcock. Judge John A. Woodcock yeah. Jr. <laughs> that would never hold up. Because I've never violated I've never violated probation before. And this it, it had nothing to do with my original charge. So that that would never hold up. Okay. And, but I, I I am gonna need some, some advocating so the, with uh, from whoever you can get the, to advocate for me, including the celebrities, and so I'm gonna because otherwise they'll. You know, I I don't know. I I'll get in the email I really if you don't want me to ask the celebrities to make a public statement about your release because all of this is public now. It's all like they can read the paperwork if they want. I uploaded it to your yeah. To your page, so people could feel outraged that you're being imprisoned for no good reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does it's, your lawyer it's... think you're going to be locked up for a long time? What's your punishment? You think? No, he he, he doesn't know. Yeah, he's he's got to wait till till the hearing to figure it out. Uh, oh well, to know to know more. But right now, he's just worried about getting me out right now, so that I can get back to my life and then try to get pick it soon. Uh, try to make it so that I can serve down the road. Okay, Mike Pence tagging in. Um, Calpil, to my knowledge, I don't think so. Like, there wasn't, like, on the forum, the T Temple of TCAP forum, there, there wasn't any, like, damning stuff about him. It was just stuff that was was found. Um, like, it was just stuff that was found. It wasn't, it wasn't, like, he's definitely painting the forum as this, like, nasty place where everyone just went to like defame well I guess it, I don't know it, I don't know how to describe it but it's it's literally the, there wasn't the malice that I think is being described 
Uh, I don't think there's the malice in the form. That, that's the way it's being described, as Lauren tries to put it. Um, and I love how he continues to fucking talk about, oh, it's, it's not my charge, it's not ready to my charge, it's not ready to my charge. Fuck, you see how he's so fucking stu- It's just, it's it amazes me how stupid he is. Like, he literally is sitting here telling him, like, telling Emma, it's like, oh, I didn't, I didn't, like, go after another kid, you know, so it's BS that I could go, you know, I should go to jail. It's like, how do you not, how are you in jail for as long as you are, prison, go through this whole legal system and not understand how probation works and, like, all the bullshit you did and, you know, modifications. Like, how do you not understand that, like, probation is like I don't even know how to describe it I thought, how would you describe it as someone that literally has no fucking idea um like I, I don't even like I know what pro, like everyone knows what probation is like I'm trying to figure out how could it's like a trial run I guess right it's like a fucking trial run and if you mess up during your trial you have you still have to by the eye. I, I have no idea how he doesn't understand how fucking probation works. Like, you get out of jail, you could have served more time, but you're on probation to make sure you're good, and then you just take out, you have to do all your shit. I don't, I have no fucking idea how he doesn't understand this. I don't get how he doesn't understand this. That's why he's so fucking dangerous. Just throw him in jail, in prison, never fucking let him out, because it's structured life there, he's got meals, he's not fucking drive and drunk he's not calling everybody up mama Glenn can literally just not give him any fucking money and then and then there you go and then he can't fucking bother anybody he's in there having to fucking do his shit give him classes give him therapy sure whatever but it, it's fucking insane uh, Amber would tell Lauren about foreign posts to get him fired up uh, yeah like I don't think yeah I think it was I, I kind of try to stay out of all that stuff back then um you know I didn't really want to pick sides and fight but I I think like she was on the forum and stuff and saying things but I, I don't I think it was it was a blend of her hyping it up to Lauren but then also having to do stuff on the forum to kind of like make it legitimate like she's playing both sides I think and it, she got caught up in that stuff that's just my opinion how I view it might not be true but I think she kind of got way caught up in that stuff and balancing everyone in the in the community and forum and then appeasing and obviously trying to keep Lauren going all the while in like actual legal bullshit I mean I, I think that's a lot I think she just did way too much uh, to take it on so uh, yeah I, I don't know uh, yeah exactly high profile yeah high profile celebrity yeah it, it's 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 fucking insane it's absolutely insane um no oh, i don't i don't oh, i shouldn't get three years it's like dude you are a fucking sex offender a federal sex offender i don't know i, I, I <laughs> he doesn't understand his narcissistic 87 brain will not allow him to understand legally he is a fucking sex offender a federal sex offender he did federal time no matter how he feels about himself no matter what you're bad i, I it baffles me fucking celebrities good lord all right <laughs> i'm sorry rant over pence put a lid on it you freaking ding dong so that i can get right. make sure i don't lose my land and then and, and all that my job and all that yeah but the thing is with, with me i've had a job constantly all the time so you know and i work a lot of hours and i and i don't do anything you know that that was against my crime, so. Right. Well, they have a whole uh, list of things on here. Violation. They had another device, they said, that they busted you with another device. Yeah. They said that a, a cop yeah. you, watched you hiding, you were nude, and you were hiding beer cans, and you were on the phone with Ramona. I don't know about that. The, the, that device, it was a phone. Uh, I had bought a phone. Maria told me that I couldn't have that, so I turned it over to her. It's saying in here so, that she I know what you're talking about with that device. Yeah, it's saying, the way she made uh, it seem in here is that she busted you with it and forced you to admit it and forced you to hand it over and that you did it knowing that you couldn't have a device like that. 
I'm telling you, that's how she's. I, I don't know if your lawyer said. Yeah, I know. But I'm reading all this. I know, but I am. I'm going to need some advocating and, and some and some help probably because I I do know Maria and Bryce are out to get me. Even my even my lawyer. After I told my lawyer some stuff, he said, "Yeah, they have an axe up to your head." They sure do. That that's what they're doing. And what do you want me to tell the celebrities to say on their social media? Because I have received a few messages asking me like how they can help if you need bail money. I, I may wind up needing help with money because uh, well, if 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 I wind up getting incarcerated, if if they for some reason they don't give me even my lawyer, uh, if for some reason they don't get me out of here. Uh, Mom's talking about getting a uh, job with KB Cat to drive again so that she can make payments on my land. Oh my God, Lauren, poor mom. Yeah, and she's 78. Yeah, and she's 78 years old. I don't want mom doing that. I don't want her doing that either. Please do whatever you can. Tell Roy to go fucking collect returnables from trash cans. Holy Christ. And I've done well, I know. blasphemy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But, uh, but that, uh, that's why I need to get out of here, but whatever. Winning, winning, winning. Winning, stop. Winning. We need to calm down, okay? Okay. Winning, you gotta stop, please. Okay, sweetheart. I love mom, though, Lauren. I don't want her to do that. I know, sweetheart. You, you gotta relax. Or you can't have outbursts on the phone. Yeah, on, we're no, I'm on the phone. Trying to keep Lauren calm. He's in a really shitty situation. Let's be here for him, okay? Okay. If Debbie were here, she'd yell at you, the Lord, and you peg it. Right. Well, no, no, she wouldn't. Uh, you gotta, uh, Winnie, I'm on a recorded line, so you, you, you can't you have outbursts and stuff like that. Winnie, uh, okay. listen to me, please. Okay, I know, I won't have an outburst, but please tell Roy, please okay. do whatever he can do, please. It's not right for her to do We're trying. I, I know, sweetheart, I know. Okay. Listen, we're, we're, trying. we're trying. My lawyer's trying to get me out of here. My lawyer's trying to get me out of here, okay. but uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna need I'm gonna need advocating and and help from the celebrities and and everybody that possibly get help from. Emma, cover your ears. Because Lauren, I got I got emails no, from, it, from people. Do you want what do you want me to tell them? Do you want me to tell them to post on like Twitter or Facebook or what do you want me to make them do to help you? I don't know. You don't. You don't have to have Emma cover her ears because Emma. You need Emma to help. I'm not. Do she, she couldn't force me to cover my ears if she wanted to. She, it's okay, honey. Hey, when you, when you gotta have Emma help do it, okay? Between I, you and Emma and Debbie, you, you, and then you all know what to do. Okay, we will. We will tell people what's happening to you and ask them to give their opinions publicly, so that. Other people will realize that this is unjust behavior. Okay, is that right, hey. sweetie? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I got you loud and clear, my sweet friend, beautiful man. <laughs> I love you guys. We love you too. We really, we really miss talking to you, but we're glad that you're being treated decently, at least where you are. Are they making you eat yeah. bad food? Yeah, there's actually not bad food here. Here is pretty yeah, pretty good food because they actually it, it's not a big jail and it's no, I'm, I'm in a, a, a cell block with that has some decent people. Do they let you wear your regular clothes? Do you wear your turquoise tank top. I when I wear my my red um, cut off shirt that's cut off by the sleeves. I really wearing that one oh, good. most of the time. They don't make you wear a white wear... stripe one, right? Like the Hamburglar? That's really embarrassing. No. No, I get orange oh, but... pants and orange shirt, but but most of the time I wear my orange pants and sneakers and socks and red shirt. Do the other prisoners treat you like a celebrity like they did with OJ? No, they, they didn't know. Except for the ones that I'm in the room. The ones in the room know now, and the guards know now. Some of the okay. guards, because I, I told some of the guards. They know but you're they, a pedophile. They're going to hurt they, you, baby. You shouldn't have told them no, that. Uh, Whitney, Whitney. I meant they know about your charge, that you were unjustly charged with. He's not a pedophile. They, I know. They don't, 
they don't know a lot about it because they haven't had a chance to look it up except for the guards. Okay, and, okay. And, that, and they're that not that. And that I know some. I know some of them anyway. So, so they're all right. They know that. They know him. I know. I just was so afraid for you, sweetie. I hear bad stories about people with your charge in jail, and they get hurt. Yeah, well, they, they, they try and, and you can't believe all the stories, okay? <laughs> Everybody they can, and they just... Penn's sending it here real quick. They know, so he, the guards know him. Like, he's like, oh, that's a good thing. It's like, oh, yeah, I mean, it's not a, not necessarily, a, it's a neutral thing, but, and I don't think that it matters. But uh, they know you're the weirdo from To Catch a Predator, yeah. Like he says, like, oh, yeah, the guards know me, so like it's a cakewalk or something. I don't really think it's a thing. I mean, they're just, they're going to know you're, you're, <laughs> you're, I don't even know. I just find that weird. I find that very weird. Oh, wow. Ramona's diaper. I didn't even see that. I didn't even see. Thank you for the tip. I really appreciate that. I, even, I didn't even see. I know it was an hour later. I apologize about that. I don't know why my little thing isn't isn't uh, doesn't pop, pop, pop up. Maybe it did, and I didn't even realize it because I was away doing stuff. Like I'm on. I'm going back and forth doing my Sunday chores and things. Um, so thanks, Ramona's Ramona's diaper. But yeah, it's funny how it's just hilarious how he's like, oh yeah, I don't believe all the stuff you hear. It's like Lauren. <laughs> I don't know. I I I feel like he is so self-centered in his reality that he doesn't like realize like it's it's not that simple and easy and the smooth a ride but I, I don't know I, I don't get it I can't understand the advocating <sighs> advocating I don't think I've ever heard any anyone in my life thankfully uh, say I want to advocate for a registered sex offender like it, it I don't know it baffles me where his fucking energy and his mind is. It's just so fucking stupid. It's so fucking stupid. He's he wants celebrities to advocate for him, adver, advocate advocate for him, and he also wants to hear positive comments from his fucking YouTube. Jesus Christ, dude! I, I, I he can't make this shit up. Oh boy. Okay, Pence shutting up. Pence shutting the fuck up blow those stories over because people like to hear yeah. about bad people getting punished for things. Lauren's fine. Yeah. And if he's not, he can contact somebody to make sure that he needs help. He has his own attorney. Okay. Yeah. I've, I've been working out since I've been in here. You probably have your six pack when you get out. Oh, good. I'm winning. Yes. Mark, uh, mark the seventh down. Okay. Of this month, for when I quit smoking. Oh, good. Did you stop for good? I didn't, I've stopped. I haven't had one since then because I've been in here, and I'm going to try not to smoke anymore. Watch this. We need to stop that. What do you mean? Watch this. How can, how can I watch this? She's lighting a and bring it into the phone. <laughs> okay, Winnie, you can't you can't be smoking either. Okay, you and I will quit together. That's right. You have to, especially if you want my kidney. You're gonna have to quit. Okay, you just make sure you don't get punched in your kidney by a bad man. Okay, you show them your muscles and tell them you'll protect yourself if you have to. I do. I'm, I'm not worried about that. Winnie, we have 60 seconds left. Let's give Warren a chance to say what he needs to say, okay? Out. Okay, sorry, Penn's in here real quick. I'm going to go step away to uh, cook a little bit of pasta. They'll have a phone with me. Uh, I love how he, like, brags. He's like, oh, put down this is the day that I just quit smoking. I'm just like, you know, dude, it's really, like, really isn't, like, a proud moment. Like, when that's your thing, like, oh, I'm not smoking. It's like, you can't smoke. Only be proud of yourself when you can smoke and you choose not to smoke, not when you can't smoke. Uh, I, I fucking hate that. Because I know exactly how he's trying to frame it. Like, um, 
there's people I know that have been to jail and it's like, yeah, you know, it's, it makes you come off of drugs. You know, if you're on a bender driver or an alcohol bender or whatever, it's like, yeah, people are like, yeah, you know, I couldn't do anything in jail. Like I couldn't do it. They acknowledge the fact that they can't do it in jail. So they, they, they understand that. Like they rationalize like, yeah, I can't do it. So it's a good thing. But in like Lauren's head, he like, has this moral superiority like oh i quit smoking because i'm in jail and you know and then i think he's saying it he just said it and he just like told when oh you can't smoke either because like i'm not doing it um god i like how fucking 87 narcissistic is he he's in jail bragging about not smoking like you know it, it's fucking insane it's such a fucking stupid ass fucking way of thinking. Again, that's why you should be in prison. Like, oh, I'm in handcuffs. I can't, you know, physically assault you. Look at that. You shouldn't be physically assaulted. I can't physically assault you. I'm in handcuffs. Yeah. It's also like, oh, I didn't verbally abuse you. I didn't physically abuse you in 30 days. You're in like five months. Like, yeah, because you've been in jail the whole fucking time. Like, it doesn't. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna scream. Um, yeah, playing, I just wanna say that I'm playing Chrono Trigger and Optim Meme. The Optim Meme sad theme play, started playing when the Lorne began to feel sorry for himself. Oh, that's great. That's perfect. I love the notion he thinks Sylvester, yeah, exactly. He thinks that fucking Sylvester Stallone's just gonna show up. Like Sylvester Stallone. That's where his fucking guy's mind is. This is ex this is exactly what his fucking guy's mind is. He is this redneck, drunk sex offender in bumfuck Maryland. Or I almost said Maryland, Maine. And he's going back to jail because he can't even follow probation. But because he was on a TV show that happened, and I feel like celebrities literally probably saw it and just like thought, "Haha, it's funny." Like, just literally, like, haha, idiots. But I don't think they sat there and were like, oh my god, this one guy. No, I doubt it. But Sylvester Sloan's gonna show up. Fucking crazy. A fucking idiot. That's where his fucking mind is. I can't scratch my nose, I'm in handcuffs. So you can't scratch exactly, Ramona's time. Exactly. Exactly. It, it's. It's like. I. Oh my god. It, it just fucking baffles me. And he's dang yeah exactly he's dangling the fucking kidney he's dangling the fucking kidney he's in fucking jail and he's trying so fucking hard to have any little power he can with the kidney with smoking it's like any little fucking thing this asshole can fathom he can try to dangle over he's doing it oh what's up what's up Jimji how are you uh, okay Pence we'll shut the fuck up I'm sorry it's getting hard not to vent. Okay, I'll stop. Okay, I'll be quiet. All right, sweetie. Go ahead. My, my, my book, Emma, can you put that on the, our channel there? And it's, it? Yeah, it, it, the link is ondemandbooks.com. Yeah, no, I have that link. I know that link. Now, are you going to make okay. all of the proceeds go to you, or do you have to contact them to make sure it all goes to you and not no, the no, no, 50% 50, 50 is going to go to one warrior project. I'm going to leave it like that. Shut up, Emma. 50% of the profit. Winnie, right, stop. I'll put the link. Okay, 50% of the proceeds of the profit is going to go to Wounded Warrior Project. The other 50% will go to me. Lauren, did you hear that? I don't know if you can hear it on your side, but it says 30 seconds left. Yeah, I didn't I didn't hear it. Oh, okay. Okay, I love you guys, and, we and love you do everything you can. Emma came here just to support you. Okay, okay, winning, winning, winning. Listen, do whatever you can to advocate for me, okay? I will do whatever I can to let everybody know that you're in there and that you need to get out and they will agree and they'll put a lot of stuff out and write to the judge, okay? Okay, and I love you guys and tell to be a lover too, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. We love you. I love you too. I'll be talking to you soon. Uh, I'll be calling you again.
Okay, good. Treat the baby good. All right. All right. And you said they don't want you to have okay. anything to do with me? Why? They don't want me to have anything to do with you or Debbie or Dan or Emma or Will. Because, uh -oh. uh, well, because I met you on the internet. Well, but, you wait, but you met you on the phone. But you met Emma. That's, that's probation doesn't want me to have anything to do with you. Yeah, and I met Dan and Emma face to face. Then what's their but deal, yo? Because the, you guys are a threat to them. Because you guys are on the internet and you do, you know, you you work with, with me. Them. You you are you're my friends and you care about me. And you do things for me on the internet that they don't want me have to have anything to do with the internet or anybody from the internet. See, that's, that's why probation. you fight for your rights. Rights are never just given or handed over. You have to fight them. That's right. And, and I love my friends. My friends have I've got the best friends in the world. Well, we, we love you too. And I tried to call Debbie and it wouldn't put it through, but that's okay. I don't know why it's so cheap for you to call me and it's expensive to call to Maine. Those people are bananas. Yeah, I know. I don't I don't know why either. That's it's odd, but it's all right. That works to works to our benefit. But okay, so uh, what have you getting for emailing my thing there? Okay. I have an email from Lucha La Rosa. He's a big fan I don't of yours. Know uh, who is that? I'm trying to pull it up on Emma's Mexican computer. Her, I'm her, her keyboard is in Spanish. It's a good thing all the letters yeah. are the same. <laughs> yeah, good thing you know Spanish, huh? That's right. I want to send a present to you. Well, no, don't send one yet because I'm not going to be here very long. Okay. Okay. And you, you can't send them by Amazon and stuff like that. You actually have to. You'd have to wind up sending that rate from your house to. Oh, I thought I could put money on your books and you could buy a nutty buddy or a ho ho. Well, the, you can you can do that. I, I don't know how to do it. Um, I'll just wait till you find out and you can tell me because Emma lets me use her phone while she goes to the store. Lara dropped mine in the toilet. We're potty training together, but we didn't do very good <laughs> job the first night. <laughs> That's my girl. I'm trying to be a good girl for you. That way, when you get out, the probation will be like, Winnie's a nice girl, actually. She's not a tub dumper anymore. You're awesome. You're awesome. I love you, sweetheart. We love you. And Emma did an email, too, to Sylvester Stallone, and he said he'd do an audio recording for you. But I don't know what else to do to help to make an advocacy on you. As many people as you, as you can get. Like regular people too, yeah. like regular old losers like, like you, or you want like celebrities? Yeah, uh, celebrities, regular people, anybody and everybody that you can get, that'll be a good advocate. A, and they have to send good. in a letter to the judge, or do you want them to make a video um, presentation of why you're innocent? I, I, I think I think a letter would be enough. But celebrities, I think it would be better to have a video. Or an audio, something, probably an audio, or a, probably a video would be better about Okay, what, what was you saying about the email? How's, oh, uh, wait a minute, how's Lawrence doing? Lawrence is good, he's happy, and he's getting really fat, and he's not that stupid anymore. He says da-da and mama and baba. Hey, <laughs> good. <laughs> he's going, he's getting big fast. Yeah, I tell I told him Grandpa's a jailbird right now. He's a big, tough, scary man. And the member of the blood said, "You're not. He's not a predator or anything." And Lara looked at me because he doesn't know English yet. He's kind of dumb a little. <laughs> no, he's not kind of dumb. He's kind of learning. Yeah. So please don't make Mama Glenn. I mean, Mama Linda, get a job, please. I'm trying not to, sweetheart. I'm really trying not to. Because if she has I to drive truck, he anyway. said her eyesight's going bad. I'm afraid she'll wrap yeah, a no. truck around a fire hydrant. No, she won't drive truck anyway. She would just, she would drive a regular car. But she she doesn't. I don't want her to. I'm trying hard not to, to get her not to. She do can it. drive a banana don't delivery do truck. Can, can. 
not have her do it. So I'm trying to get the hell out of here so I can get it everything all paid myself. I went today okay, in well, front of we'll, Emma's house and I sold mugs for you. I made $32. You're so beautiful. I'm trying really that. hard. Um, and I even contacted Debbie's old boss to see if she needs any more voice acting because I did a voice um, in a Nickelodeon show for a really annoying little girl and maybe they'll let me do another one. It was like $500 for only like a day. It was really good money. I really want to help you. I know you do, honey. I know. I know. Just try to get me out of here. It's going to be the first thing out of here and out of this mess. Enough probation. Uh, I hope the judge goes easy on you. He needs to consider the fact that you have done your assignments over and over and over again. You're already done with that stupid class. It's going to take a a lot of advocating from from a lot of people. I think everybody Um, should send an individual letter and then they'll empty them out like they did in court with Santa Claus. Remember that movie? Yeah. Yep. They would do that for you, baby. Yep. I think that would be a good idea. Individual letters straight to uh oh, a repeat. Oh, of course, it's always a freaking repeat. Okay, uh, I'll be wing ding ding a bing another one up here. Uh ha ha ha. Here's a good one. One, two, three, two, thank you. What? Are you awake this time? Yeah, I was sleeping. Emma's spending the day with her family. She's stupid. Uh, okay, Why does listen. she come all the way to California to hang out listen, with me? Listen, Winnie, knock it off. Listen, your money did not get here. I need you to do whatever you can do to get some money here so I can put on the phone. I if did it. I gave sense. you the confirmation number. It, it doesn't. I can't do anything from this end. Are you fucking yelling at me about I'll, fucking sending money, which I fucking did? It's your fucking fault. Oh, stop it. I don't have time for this. I only had two um, two dollars and forty cents left on the account, and I'm calling you on it. The most of the forty dollars that Mom Snow left here yesterday, I spent on the phone with you. I know. Why did you do that? I knew. Winnie, I need you to get a hold of your sister if you have to. Try to get some money from there, from the Skylight account. Put it on my account. Whatever you have to do, send them money the next day. Whatever. I've got my news. God, I can't tell you guys anything. So bad. How Listen, dare my I? Sister. Let me get money. I can't even call mom. I can't even call mom. Because I don't have enough money on the account. <laughs> Look, I love you. I put money on. I did it last night within the time that was allotted. I followed well, the instructions. Thank you, Ralph. I, I need to do it. Damn it, Winnie. I did it. I need you to figure out what happened. I gave Whatever you, the you can do, put on. money on the account. Listen to me. Whatever okay. you can do, get money on my phone account, okay? Yeah. Okay, Tommy, you love me. I, I love you. You know I love you. <laughs> Whatever you can do, I need you to get money on my account. Because I've got news. I can't tell you guys the news. can't tell you anything without money on the account. You can tell me right call. now. You spent like five minutes bitching I, about having no money. No, but yeah, because you, you got to know how I'll important this is. Okay. When you stop, you're throwing a fit. I am trying to emphasize this to you because it's very important. I don't have enough money on my account to screw around. I can't even call mom to tell her. Tell me, and I'll tell her. I'll call her right now. No, you're not telling her. Knock your bullshit off. I'll call her right now. What's her number? You want to talk to her? I'm not kidding. What is it? Winnie, I'm not up for your bullshit. If you You screw me on this, you and I are going to have a lot of problems. I don't know how to fix the fucking problem with the money I put in. Send, send some money to the jail next day. Next day air. Whatever you have to do. Send the money to the... Uh, listen, send the money order to the jail Give for $20 the next call day air. And I'll okay? merge the calls. Give me your mother's number. I'm at the other phone. No. What you don't do you not understand? Her? No. What do you not understand? I put the money in and I can't put any more. Emma took her ATM Thanks card. Thanks for screwing me, Winnie. The caller has hung up. <laughs> Problem solved. Fuck him. What the fuck is wrong with him? Ten. One. 
an inmate at Piscataquis County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept charges, press 1. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hi. You're calling Anna's phone collect? Yeah, that's why I'm not going to talk long. Just want to see if you get a plan you mail No. I haven't gone yet. So, just okay. so like, as you a side note, hold on. So, he literally is sitting there begging for money, more fucking money from them. And then he's like, oh, I can't talk to mom. Like, this dude talks on the phone so fucking much. Like, he's wasting all this fucking money. Then gets pissing, pissing and moaning about how people, he like needs more money. And it's like, just stop talking to people all the fucking time. And just... He's so fucking scared of being in jail. He can't talk to anybody because no one fucking likes him. So he has to sit on the phone and talk to fake people, pissing away everyone's fucking money. He's literally pissing away everybody's fucking money. What a fucking guy! Thanks for fucking screwing me. Oh my gosh, dude. I just I fucking can't. I can't. I can't even. All right. Should get it out today, then I. You have to get it by Saturday, then they'll put it on the box. Then I'll be able to call you again. Why didn't you call your mom collect? Well, because the $40 you gave me was supposed to go to calling her, and I'm sure. I wasn't supposed to go to... Did you get my fax? Did I get your fax? I sent a fax to the county jail of my conversation with Securas. I didn't get it. I don't know if they got it or not. Well, they should give it to you. That way you know I tried to put money in. You had no right to yell at me. I, I don't care. Well, well, listen. No, Sorry. you listen. Okay, I'm thank you. I'm just upset because now I can't call you unless I call Clay. I can't call Mom or Aunt Sharon to tell anybody anything that happened. Or that's going on or anything. Well, I don't see why you just don't. Why don't you just trust me and put your mom on the phone so you can talk to her? Because, uh, If you'd really mom, wanted to talk to her, Emma's paying for this call. Winnie, you know how mom was since last time. Who cares? I don't have to say anything. It'll be a number from this number. You can just tell her it's Emma because it's Emma's phone. Can you please listen? No. Please. I'm trying to give you a chance to call your mom and your family. I'm not trying to do anything to hurt you. If I would, I would have done it no. by now. I need you to listen, okay? Mom is not happy because of before, okay? So I, I try to, to not mention you and Debbie to mom at all right now. Well, here's the so thing. Like, you you know, can't call her right now. Like, you know, give you a... <sighs> This is the thing. You can't call her right now. If you really wanted to talk to her, then you would just have me put her on so you can talk. I won't say anything. It's being recorded. The last thing I want is for anything bad to happen to you. I just thought I would offer that to you because she can't accept a collect call. I already did. Emma's paying for the first minute. Here, Emma. Emma's here. Please. Please. You've got to listen. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I don't want you guys paying for any collect call. I don't want to keep on your collect. That's why I just want you to hurry up and get some money to me so I can put it on the book so it costs only 21 cents a minute. I know. I get that. Mom, I'm going to see if I can call tonight the office number so I don't have to call mom collect. And, and I'll come up from there. I really need to get money to me so I can get all my books. That way when my lawyer calls me, he's supposed to call me tomorrow and tell me more. Why don't you just call your mom and tell her to put money on your books? She's closed. Because she's been putting money on the books, but she has to travel 40 miles to do it. That sucks. Look what you've done. I know that sucks. Where they... The $40 you put on my books I spent mostly on talking to you. I know. Once again, why did you do that? You could have been talking to your mom. You could have saved it. You never think I had. But it, uh, this is a quick call here. That's right. It, and Emma's paying for it, so. Okay. If you can get 
need to hold the dead. Find some way to get money off my skyline card. Send that. Do whatever you can. Just send, just send 20 or 40. If you can get off my guard, send like $60. Okay? Alright. I can't get it off your yeah, card. I can't do it. No, I didn't. You well, can't. She can't either. We already tried. You can't use a debit card number without the card to purchase a money order. It's illegal because of fraud. Oh, yeah. I tried it, honey. I've tried everything. The only okay, thing I can do is beg for a ride to the fucking post office. God okay, damn just it. Do that. Just, just send twenty dollars out, okay? Send send it overnight soon. Or or next day or something. I'm gonna deduct yeah, the okay. price of this call from twenty dollars and then I'm gonna send it. Oh. Don't next day it is twenty eight dollars. What do you mean don't worry? What do you mean? Don't, don't worry. worry. I'll pay. I will pay. No, I will pay back. Sure, Chris Hansen. Yeah, I'll send you a bill. Uh -huh. But get real. You're making money off my name, so get real. <laughs> I'm not making any money off your name, by the way. The IRS sent me a letter. I haven't paid taxes in eight years, and they're taking every penny. Okay. Well, we can't talk about that right now. I know. What if you get in trouble? What if they find out, like, what if they do a search for your phone records the days that you were in class and find out that you called me? Days that I was in class? Yeah. What do you mean, days that I was in class? Days that I was in class, I was in class. I know. Oh, wait, sorry, it's being recorded. That's right, that never happened. Well, it doesn't... It, I don't even know what's talking about. <laughs> never mind. All right. I mean, just send me some money overnight so we can put it on my phone, okay? And, and I'll be out of here next week so it would be a lot easier to talk. We checked. I had Dan check. There has been no motions put in as of 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I, I know. My lawyer was putting it in today. Oh. He's calling, he's calling the court today. I just talked to him earlier. He's going to call me again tomorrow. So he can tell me. When everybody agrees on for, for um, um, what the hell ever is hearing, detention hearing. Well, they're going to move it up from September 3rd, but... Well, that's not the detention hearing, that's some other hearing. I don't know what that is. So you waived your right to a hearing, but they're going to give you another one? That's nice. No, no, this is a detention hearing. Yeah. So I can get out until whatever year we have. Or whatever my punishment is going to be. Alright, that's uh, cool. I hope they punish you really bad so that way you don't make when? your mom pay any money anymore. But I hope they let you out of jail first, like another punishment where you're not in jail. You stop saying mean things. No, that's what I mean, because that way you won't mess up again, baby, and you're going to be a good man. And that way your mom, you know, she won't die with you in prison. I'm not going to mess up again. Okay. You're, you're just going straight on all smoking, because I know you're smoking. I think that no, you're in love with me again. No. no. What? I don't want you, I don't want you, I don't want anything happening. But that's why I've been doing all of this. Well, I do love you. You already know that. Don't start, start doing that. I just thought it would make you want to build a life with me by taking care of you like your wifey. Your wifey. You know, when you know I love you, okay? Don't start doing that. That's not right. It's not nice to do that. Uh, I'm always going to love you. You know that. Uh, hey, what are you, what are you? Um, well, do you have anything else important to say? I don't know what I want to say now. Hey, you know I love you. So okay? All Emma does is spend time with her family in California. He leaves me alone with it. No. Where's Will at? Oh, he's working. Yes. Well, that's good. Well, 
that stupid county jail isn't on the secures site to do it the other way around. You have to do it from there. I don't know what else I could do. Hey, first of all, the county, you got to calm down, okay? The only thing you can do is just send, send me some money overnight to the jail. And uh, don't write anything on it because I'll, I'll tell the jailer that, that I had you send money in a money order. But just not to write anything on it because I didn't know what to write. I'll have them fill it in. So be ready for the phone account. You know, okay? Whatever. Well, just do it that way. Then we don't have to do it. Betty? I said off my card. Oh, do you want me to ask Betty to send you money? Like to go drop it off? She's no. closer. No, sweetheart, no. No, I owe Betty money. I wouldn't want you to do that. Well, somebody sent Well, somebody from the community said for the chance to meet you, they'd bring you money. So I'll just tell them, okay. They're going to put themselves on your visitor list. That way you could get it faster without me overnighting it. Well, overnight it just, uh, just in case nobody shows up. Okay. Okay, because this day that I know of, it, nobody's put anything on the list of us that I know of. Did they approve Chris Hansen to go talk to you? Huh? Did they approve Chris Hansen to go talk to you? Because Chris Hansen said that he has a lot of people that will reach out. And he even said that he's friends with Mitch McConnell and um, Acosta. Um, I know, but the jail did not approve. They didn't approve. The I don't know what they did. They, they researched it. They were looking to do something. They did not approve. My lawyer said so I can't hear you anymore. So my lawyer said it's not a good idea to give an interview right now, so don't do it. And I guess the jail did not approve him in way to give an interview. Well, what if he just visits you like a visitor and then reports on it? Well, he can visit me like a, like a visitor if he wants, but I can't. My lawyer... And not say anything right now. Well, your lawyer hasn't done shit for you, and Chris Hansen has a direct line to Donald Trump. How about I? Uh, yeah, but right now, I need to get out next week. I need to listen to my lawyer. See what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. And I do love you, okay? Don't think I don't love you, because I do. I just want to be your boyfriend again. Eh? I, I know, but you know how things are, you know. Debbie's going to marry the Duke, probably. No, she's not. She's not. I didn't even know she knew Spanish. She started talking Spanish because he's from La... Um, he's from Colombia or something. Oh, no, yeah. I, I thought we would wind up together after she realized she was too good for you, but I'm a piece of shit, so I'm not. Oh. Hey, calm down, calm down. I tried to, sweetheart. Oh. Calm down. I don't want you getting all warmed up, okay? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get off here so we don't put too much of a click on in this phone. Okay. I won't tell her I accepted the charge. Uh huh? I won't tell her I accepted the charge. Well, uh, I'll tell her I'll, I'll send some money to her. But Emma! It's funny. Emma! Hey! Lauren's on the phone here! I... Oh. Hi. Hello? Hey. 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 Can you hear me? Yeah. What's up? Yeah, You're paying no, for this call, gonna... bitch! Uh, no, that's all she can't interrupt like that. I'm paying yeah, for what this you gonna send some call? Money, um... Up to me overnight, so I have money on my phone. But I never. When he doesn't have any money, then. Huh? I'm going to steal it from your purse. Oh, Winnie, she doesn't have any money. Okay. Yeah, well, can you Lauren called you, you collect. I'll, I'll send it back to you. I'll send it back to you, okay? 
look, how about this? I, I guess I'm paying for this call and whatever money she sends, you swear on your love for your mother that you'd send a money order to Betty for it. How's that? Okay. I was going to send her some, money. yeah, I was going to send her some money, but now it looks like I'm going to send it to you. So if you'll pay her and you promise that you will, and this is being recorded, hopefully, uh, <laughs> then I'll do it. it okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to use it against okay. you if it's not. Okay. Yes, it's overnight, though, so I will get the five minutes to all right, um, I'm going to pick up the kids and we're going to have dinner. So on my way, I'll stop at Walmart and then the post office and I'll have Winnie go do okay. it for me because I'm with my kids. I mean, I came here to visit my family. Not me, bitch! Okay. I know, I know. Okay. Come on, come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can think about that. You can have Winnie send them. Okay. You're better off sending yourself, please. <laughs> okay. You know why, okay? All right. Why? Because we don't trust you. God, you should. Well, <laughs> we, we, try to, we trust her. We trust her, just not the, not the. No, I'm. Listen, uh, I'm not in. I'm not uh, in jail. I don't have to kiss her. But Winnie, I don't trust you because you've proven yourself to be an untrustworthy liar. I know. I'm good at it. But I love Lauren, so I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't worry. Well, uh, thank you. Okay. And, um, I don't know what to put on it for. On the money order for overnight, because you can't you can't send a Western Union or anything like that. So yeah. you have to mail it overnight to the jail. Well, then I'll just mail it to your name, care of um, Catfish County Jail or whatever it is. It's Piscatus. Okay. Yes. P i s c a um, t i q u four three s. Shut up, Winnie. Just put P P C P C J and then the address. Fifty two right. Court Street. Yep. Yeah, I still have the address for uh, when you gave me the info for Chris. Okay. I talked to Chris. I talked to Chris Hansen today. He said that he has the number to John, Donald Trump's um, assistant, and that they they can contact him and have him try to look at your case if you want. Yeah, I definitely want. Because we really need advocacy on this. So Chris Hansen, just, oh, I thought you had it all set up that you were going to get out without, you know, much of a, a bruise and scrape, that you'd be good. Well, it's not going to be until next week. I, I talked to my lawyer today, and he got, got the, the facts today, and I'd have to pay $105 uh, for individuals. This call system. This call is being recorded. So I have to pay for it. Okay. But at least it's an the door. Well, at least it'll be a party that's not involved with the department. It can be an outside yeah. entity, and this agency will be unbiased. All right, um, yeah, well, Warren. I'm gonna. I'm going to let you go. This is probably expensive. <laughs> I've already spent a lot traveling, so I'm going to let you go, but I'll have Winnie. I'll bring Winnie with me because she is looking at me and she's crying. I just want to be there for it to prove that because Lauren shouldn't trust you. His mom doesn't trust you to call her on three-way. Why not? I could call your mom for you, Lauren. Oh. Uh, well, not right now. Not right now is the best time. She's stressed out enough. See, he doesn't trust any of us. It. Yeah, he just trusts us to put money on that stuff. Dollar, dollar, stop. Mom brought forty dollars in to me. I spent most of it talking to Winnie yesterday. Well, that's again your fault, and we can call your mom right now if you wanted. We, we, you knock it off, Winnie. Here, give me the phone. I'm making a big deal to call mom. Give me the phone. Look, I guess she said that you were making a big deal about calling your mom, so she was trying to offer to do it, and now I'm here, so she told me that you would do it with me. If you really want to talk to her, I'll do it. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do it with anybody on the phone. All right, fine. I'll talk to you soon. i got to go because I'm paying for this. We're up to 19 minutes. That's like 40 bucks. Okay. All right, bye. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. And I put it on, and they put the number in, and Emma, 
Uh, just give me your ATM card. I did, and I called, and it said inmate services. It's on my account. Oh. Hey, Emma. Emma, I only have a dollar fifty-eight left on my phone right now. She so can't hear you. I'm calling her on the landline. There's, I, I can give you confirmation. I, I called Securas. I called Securas, and they told me, and they confirmed that it was put through last night at seven fifty-three p.m. our time here. I called and I checked. Here. I don't know what to say. I'll, I gave the confirmation number to you. I gave it to the lady, and she said it went through. And if you call, if you call Emma's nine one five number, then it's there. I don't know what to do. I, I don't know either. I'm but, trying, baby. It, listen, send send twenty dollars in a money order to the jail. With a note that says this is for Lauren Armstrong's account. Don't don't put any name on on the the money order because I don't know if you have to put it to me or to the jail. So what if they get it and write their name? But put it in put it in my name. Put like what? Uh, what if they open up a money order without a a name on it and they're like, oh, this is for an inmate or for me? No, they 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 won't just uh, just put okay. on the envelope. Uh, uh, Lauren Armstrong. Because they'll open it up and just put a letter inside. This is a, this is money orders for Lauren Armstrong's account, the phone account. I didn't know uh, who to write it out to. Okay. They're, they're honest. They're honest here. And then they're gonna know that I have come coming through because this is all recorded on this phone anyway. Okay. Bucks Craft Ben Dover Peskis County Jail. I'm trying to look up the address. Static Pes. Cat look up the, uh, hang on, I'll give you the address. Okay. What's the address here? 52 Court Street. What's the zip code? 044 something. Hold on a second. Okay, address is... It is what the hell is it? I don't know. Uh, hang on. Okay. It says send it next day, and make sure you send it next day so we'll get it here tomorrow or Saturday, and I'll be able to put it have it put on the phone. So then I'll be able to call you guys as soon as we get here. But but five two four get Debbie. Street, Dover Foxcroft, Maine zero four four two six for Lauren Armstrong, care of. Piscataquis County Sheriff, right? Piscataquis, yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll spell it right. I just can't make my tongue do the but, word. Uh, well, I know. I'll just see what you can do to get your sister to get on my Skylight account and put money on there from that. Skylight. Ask her to put like $60, and you don't have to worry about it. But you can just try to send me twenty, so that way it'll it'll try to get it it'll get on there. Okay, jail call. You have one minute left. Okay, well right now, as far as I know, um, I'll have. To, yes, I do, Rick. Stop stuttering! You got I fifty have, seconds. I have to, listen, I've, I want to I want to go out. Rick. Hang on a minute, please. Okay. Right now, I will have to pay for the classes. He's putting the motion in. Um, he's calling the calling the court this afternoon. Put the motion in to see when we can have another um, detention hearing. So it'll be next week. I should be out, but okay. I'll have to pay for the classes myself. Okay. Good. But Winnie, please get money here ASAP. Please okay. call Debbie. Ask her to ask her to do it with my Skylight card. Okay. I'll ask her to put sixty dollars on here. Then I can call you guys again today and let you know more. I will try. Okay. I, I'm Thank you call for using the right. All right. I love Goodbye. you. I love you so much. Not. If you would like to permanently block your number from receiving calls from this facility, press six. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hello. 
It's me. I took the phone from Will and I beat him over the head for making a problem. Hi. Uh, beat him over the head. I. Well, it wasn't violently. It was with a pillow. Get over being irritated at that. When it comes to anything, anything sexual in that manner, keep it off the phone. Doesn't need to be on the radio. No, I completely understand. And I told him the rules. He didn't know you were in jail. I didn't want to tell him. Oh, well, you knew because you already told him. And I already told him that the phone reported wrong. If you call this one, I'll get in trouble. Oh, look, look. Okay, I'm fixing it. All right, I got it now. What do you got? My phone was going to die, but I had Will bring me the charger as fast as he could. Really? Was that your other phone? That's my phone. Stop playing the game while I'm on the phone, please. Okay. I, I didn't, it didn't matter you know, what it was. I just heard another phone. No, that was Will's phone. That was my phone. Yeah, it was, I, yeah I, heard, I heard him. I heard him. Yeah. He irritated because Debbie didn't <laughs> freaking want to take a minute to talk. I can't hear you, baby. When I, it's not you. It's this stupid thing. So I'm irritated because Debbie didn't want to take a minute to talk to me. Okay. Yeah, and they couldn't hear her worth a shit anyway. So that didn't help. But what are you guys doing tonight? Um, Emma's gonna Emma's gonna show me how to make a tortilla. Not really. Is she there now? Yes. Let me talk to her real quick. Okay. Please. Ugh, Emma, get off of Will's lap. Sorry, with that. Brian wants to talk to you. Oh, shut up, Winnie. Hello? Hello. Hey, how you doing there, stranger? I'm all right. How are you? I'm all right. Lord's crying! No, he's not. Uh, why are you on Will's lap? What? I wasn't on Will's lap. Do you want it to be? Oh, shut up, Winnie. Winnie Don't listen to her. All right. Anyway, um... <laughs> no, I didn't, uh, did Winnie tell you anything about what's going on, what's happening? Uh, yeah, she said that the Duke proposed to Debbie. I'm real sorry, sweetie. Well, she didn't tell me that. Oh, God. Emma! Help! Ow! Bitch! Winnie, stop! Stop it! Hey, enough. Enough. Jeez. Damn crazy lady. Right, get her out of here. Thank you, Will. Kill you all! So if the Duke is proposing to Debbie, what the hell does Debbie want anything to do with me for? I don't know. Maybe that's why she hung up on you. No. Maybe or she maybe... said yes. No, I don't know if she said... I have no clue. That's... And once again, I when, she, when he walked in, I was putting Larry on Will's lap and bouncing him. And when he no. decided to tell you that I was on Will's lap. So she likes to make things up. Yeah, I know. I know how she is. So who knows? That's just what I heard from uh, her. It sounds like a fairy tale, the way she's describing the Duke guy. Yeah, I know. What if folks of Debbie's bow, I'm not going to keep hanging on for her. Well, okay. see, maybe you can find yourself a partner where you are now, sweetie. Emma, come on. Well, prison pen pals are a big I, thing. Yeah, you know... You know, I hate it when people say shit like that. Listen. Oh, God, that's not what I mean. Prison pen pals are a big thing. And I already was looking into getting you a... Uh, because she told me you are going to be in for six months. There are so many people who want to know your inmate number because they're interested in hooking up 
One of them's from Maine. Her name is Carolyn Humphrey. Never heard of her. Well, of course, I don't think you know everybody in Maine. But I didn't mean, like, find a partner who's also in jail. I meant there are a lot of people interested in you and talking about wanting to write you. I don't even have a prisoner number for you. Uh, tell them they can write me all they want to. I'm, I'm in jail right now. I'm not... I'm not in prison. I don't even know if I'll be going to a prison. I don't think I'll be going to a prison because it's only going to be six months to a year, so I don't think that's long enough to go. When he posted on Twitter that Donald Trump needs to make sure you don't go to prison for six months, that's why. I, that's where I'm getting that from. Sorry. Yeah, well, I, didn't, I think six months, I don't think they'd, they'd let you go to prison. I think you stay right in the jail because that's too much money to, to process you into prison and all that stuff just for under a year. Right. Well, hopefully you get, you know, less than that. Yeah, well, I'm, all, I'm hoping that I just get six months. And whatever time I serve here right now is, is counting towards it. But oh, that's good. I need, but I, I need people to write support letters. Well, you already, you already know. When you already told you that. Oh, yeah. I put it on the um, Internet for people to find your attorney's information. I, I couldn't find... A, a real address for him. It was just the same address as the where the judge is. Okay, well, um, I'll find. Uh, I'll to, I don't know, I'll to call him or something. Yeah, just I mean, at your leisure. As soon as you get it, I'll put it online. And the weekend's coming anyway, so a day delay for the mail is, you know, not really going to make that big of a difference. Yeah, well, no, and actually the date that I need these letters by is uh, September 3rd. It is my actual hearing day for, right. for how long how long I'll be have to be incarcerated. So is it a sentencing then? That's September 3rd. On so, the, but it, 20, uh, on, uh, on August 22nd is my detention hearing. So oh, I see. I, I, should, I should be able to get out that day and... It'd be like another month, month and a half before. So while we're trying, to, we're trying to make it so I won't have to go in for a month, a month and a half after my sentencing. Okay, and then you can work during that time, hopefully. Yeah, and, and yeah, and that way I can get some things in order before I before I do the time, and you know, wind up not so I don't have to lose things. But I have, I have another idea too that once I'm um, not in here and not on a recorded line, uh -huh. I can talk to you. More about okay. That. All right. That I so, so that'll hopefully that'll make everything work well. Well, I hope so. I mean, your boss sounded pretty happy to hear from you. Maybe it would be in your best interest to get a letter from him as somebody who's had to supervise you directly in a different capacity to talk oh, about yeah, what a is. good citizen you are. I, he is, he's going to write a letter, and the company's going to write a letter, and, and people that I knew that I knew and worked with in the company, they're going to write a letter. He's going to get a, as many of them as can to, to write a letter. Excellent. So, you know, I'm just wondering what's going on with Debbie. Yeah, I don't know. I can check her. I can check her Facebook. Um. Pictures of penguins. That might be her in a bikini, but it looks like somebody has a polar bear suit on. Swimming. Wow, there's a lot of these. Oh, it's a real polar bear. Yeah, she, she told me something about swimming, swimming with the polar bear. Oh my gosh, that looks so exciting. Isn't she cold? Wow. Oh, yep, yeah, she sure is. <laughs> Okay, there's nothing on here about a duke. It's her and a lady I recognize from another post as her aunt. Yeah. I don't know. I know she didn't, she didn't I know she said she was, had a busy day plan, but you know, it's not like she's getting to talk to me every day right now oh. either. I think she would take it a minute, but she couldn't hear me and I couldn't hear her. Aww. Well, I mean, you know, they keep your... 
they keep your agenda pretty full when you pay for a cruise. So I imagine she signed up for everything she could. I know I would have. Yeah, she probably did, too. You know how she is. She's adventurous. And also, she doesn't hide anything. So if there was if there was news like that that was really big, I'm sure she'd share it with you. That would be ridiculous to think that she wouldn't. I know. I know she cares about how I feel, too, so... How about another online petition, too, and then we can present that to your attorney so we can bring it in, just for the people who, um, you know, don't have the energy or they don't really want to write a letter. It'd be easier just to click a button and, and sign your name. Oh, shit. Well, yeah, well, if you if you were to write a letter and have people sign it, that would work. Just make it so they can't leave any comments. No, no, it. yeah, I can disable that. I remember, yeah. I learned my lesson from last time, my dear. Yeah, yeah, that would work. Oh. I'm not trying to tell it. Celebrities, celebrities, especially if, if celebrities could write a separate letter, that would really work. That would work good because, well, you know, all the big celebrities, they pay attention, a lot of attention to the celebrities. Right. I did get a response from Sinbad. I don't know if you know who that is. Yeah, I know who it is. I didn't know he, that he even wrote anything. This is the first I ever heard from him, but after when he used my, um, my To Catch a Predator thing, my To Catch a Predator Twitter, to tweet that, Sinbad said he was um, aware of you having a YouTube channel two years ago, but didn't know you were in jail. Um, I'm sure he'll write a letter for you, because he wrote quite a long tweet. Oh, really? Yeah. He exceeded the character limit and then wrote a second one as a follow-up. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be, that'd be cool. I can do that, yeah. Hopefully he won't make a joke, because, you know, those comedians. Uh, yeah, I know. I don't, I don't think he would, because he knows it would be seen in the gore, so I don't think he'd make a joke on that. Yeah, so I know that Sinbad's um, in bed with, with the idea. Um, I reached out to Colin Ray, and I didn't hear back. Sylvester Stallone is no longer interested in employing you because you're in jail now. He said it's bad for his brand. Chris Hansen said that if he could talk to you and get an idea of your character, that he would most certainly write a character statement. We'll, we'll talk more about that when I... Okay, when no, I I, okay. Idea. That's fine. I'm just letting you know about the... Yep, yep, I understand. I'm just saying about the... Oh, 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 Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson, I forgot to tell you. What do you say? It wasn't him directly. It was his media manager. Um, he said, anyway, Mike can su uh, support this dude. Oh, really? And it, yeah, like with the que it was like a question. Anyway, Mike can... S so that was pretty cool. Um, when he tweeted back, please forward to President Trump. Oh, really? So, yeah, she, she's being really helpful. I heard her... She is, too. She really gave Will... Uh, well, something she might be charged for one day for saying something on a phone call with you. So, I hope I hope that's all right. I, I don't know, but um, there was also uh, Brian Williams, I think, of the Beach Boys. So he doesn't have a really recognizable name, but oh, well, he just wrote a comment. You know, support Lorne. I don't really remember what it was. I'm in the car now. Are oh, you in the car now? Yeah, I had to. I have to go get some cleaning solution, and I won't tell you why. But your friend Winnie is a messy person. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> I don't want to get charged my deposit for this Airbnb. Yeah, and uh, I don't want you looking at any text or anything on the internet while you're driving. Oh yeah, no, I won't. I'll be at my destination in about half an hour. It takes that long to get there with the traffic, but as far as I can from my memory, um, you have received about 300 comments since the 8th when we found your paperwork. 
about you know being incarcerated. Okay. How many how many bad versus how many good? Approximately. Uh, there's a good mix. I would say 30% are either negative or sarcastic. Um, but I did have to censor the word, the word uh, child, F word, because people were using that a lot referring to you, and I don't want that to show up. Because not only is it inaccurate, but it's disrespectful to other people who want to read those comments. So bad. Oh, so no, I mean things are looking up. I mean this silver lining is, is pretty thin, but if we keep focusing on it, we won't get overcome by the storm. Yeah. And if I only have to do six months, that's not so bad because it's only six months. Oh, you can do that standing on your head, Lauren. Well, I'd rather not do it standing on my head. I'd rather have to be on my feet. <laughs> well, that's true, but when your feet get tired, you know you can flip it on over. Yeah, I don't want to be able to get through it fast and, and easy. So. Well, you're going you're gonna to have a lot of letters to read. Now that you have blown up on the Internet, everybody's interested in getting a hold of you. These big-name celebrities and small-name has-beens are all very interested. And then, you know, the nobodies who outnumber them all, us little people who love you, you have a good team on your side. Yeah, I do. And the little people matter just as much as, as the celebrities. That's right. Kevin Westerbeck would be very happy to hear you say that. He's the only living munchkin, you know. Yeah, celebrities aren't the only thing in the world. That, I mean, they're, they're huge help. They help more than what the smaller people do, but the smaller people matter to me because it's, you know, I think they're about what people feel. Thank you. Yeah, I know that, but, I mean, in this situation, Names with recognition will certainly get you more consideration, you know, for your side. Yeah, yeah, they will. Yeah, no. All right, Lauren. Well, I don't want to eat up all your money. I'm sure you want to call mom and let her know how things are going. Oh, oh, that's another thing. Um, Sunday, when I call you on Sunday, uh huh. I, I, I need for it to be you. Uh, I need for you to be there so I can get on the phone. But I'm going to I'm gonna call Mom on Sunday, and I'm going to give Mom's phone number to you so that I can call her through you. Okay. Do you know about what time? Because I was going to go to Disneyland. So I, if I know what time, I can get in a quiet place to do it. Thank you. What time are you going to Disneyland? Well, probably around 6 a.m. my time, so 9 a.m. your time. Okay. What time are you going to get back from Disneyland? Oh, we're probably going to come back at about 5 p.m. Oh, 5? Okay, that'll be 8 here. Okay, so... But if you want to give me an exact time, I can go to, um, you know, a private place where they don't have the music blaring. They have places like that for people that is called um, anxiety calm down spots. Yeah, but then Winnie's going to be mad because she won't have a phone. No, Winnie is going to, are you kidding? Winnie is going to be at Disneyland with Lair. I'm buying them tickets. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they're going to be okay, doing the teacups. Okay, as long, as long as you have the phone with you, keep it on you so you be able to hear. I mean, okay, yeah, so I'll just trade back phones with her on... Um, Sunday, and you just give me, when as it gets closer, just give me like a window of time so I can stay near a quiet place. I'll go to the smoking section, something like that. Okay. Okay. You, the way you said you sent the money out yesterday? Yeah, I sent it out. They told me it wouldn't go out in yesterday's mail, but it'd go out in today's mail. Okay. Um, how much you sent? Um, I sent 60 and it was about okay. 24 bucks with tax for the overnight service. Wow. Holy crap. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's from California to Maine, so that's... Yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, we need some help send money, too. Somebody, yeah, somebody from money. the Internet. Somebody from the Internet asked for an address, and they'd send a money order, so I figured it couldn't hurt. 
I didn't say no. no. I hope that's okay. No, no, no that's, that's fine. It's definitely not going to hurt. It's going to help. Yeah, so I, and that's what I figured. I mean, I'm trying to make the best shot calls because I know Winnie isn't really good at that, but if I make a mistake, you have to be patient with me. I'm trying my best. I, I know you are. You've done awesome the whole time anyways. So don't worry. I'm really anxious to tell you about the idea that I have. So let's, let's pray yeah. Get out for a little bit so I can get things straightened out, and I can tell you about my idea. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to hear what what you have planned. You're usually really creative and resourceful, so I'm sure it's something great. Actually, I'm going to. If you can, can you give me an address where I can write you a letter and send it to me? I can write the letter tonight and I can send it out in the morning. It'll go out in the morning. If you can give me an address where I can send it to. Yeah. Okay. What's the address? Oh, shit. Hold on. Oh, my God. I just ran a red light. Fuck. Oh, fuck. All right, it's two, four, six, one. That's your brother and lady! Shut up, Winnie. Oh, I forgot I can't interrupt myself. Winnie, knock it off. All right, it's four, Winnie, two, four, six, one. Stop, you Winnie. shut up! Winnie, Winnie, let go of the fucking wheel. Winnie. Two, four, it's six, Winnie. one. Winnie! Oh, Stop it! Tell her, uh, tell her I said stop. Tell her I said get her hands off the wheel. Come, come on! Give me a... <laughs> oh, God. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hey. Yeah, I know. I was giving you the one to the Airbnb. But I would rather... Yeah, I'd rather just have you send it to where my kids. I think they're behind us. They are. I'm going to pull over right now. Yeah, I think there's a high-speed chase, or I'm going to get pulled over. Oh, no, okay. No, they're passing me. They're passing me. Okay, good. Okay, is Winnie going down? Will has his hand over her mouth, and she's kicking... The front seats. Winnie, do you? Yes, I do. Be behave. Are you being behave? Yes. Your fingers smell like your butt. Ugh. Hi, hi, honey. Hi. Okay, sweetheart. Listen, you have got to be calm when somebody's driving the vehicle. Okay, but I am in charge. No, you need to you need to be in charge of Lawrence. Just pay attention to him. Make sure he's alright. Guess what I got, Winnie? Don't tell him yet. I'm gonna tell him. We went. You cannot lose it, Winnie. You okay. Lose it. You cannot act out like that when Lawrence is in the car. Okay, baby. I went to the Hallmark store and I got a card for your mom. I said, for you in this troubling time, we know at times life is hard, but when you look at everything at once, you will see you are on a roller coaster with ups and downs, and damn, you will have enjoyed the ride. Look how strong you are. Love all of us. And I wrote my name under it and spelled it right. Is that okay? Yes, you can write your name, Emma's name, and Debbie's name. And I drew Debbie? No! I meant to say Sadie and Roscoe, but you said Debbie and it got into my mouth. I drew Sadie and Roscoe, and I also drew Bud with an angel wing and a halo. Well, that's nice, sweetheart. That's really nice. Thank you. You, you can send that here to me. Okay. Then when I get out, I can give it to mom. I will do that. Your mom is a special lady. And I told you I had a really sad dream last night. I hope Roy doesn't try to take over your whole life like single black female movie. He, he's not going to. Roy is going to be a big help to me. 
I hope so. Roy is a nice man when he is sober. And he probably yeah. learned how to be sober from you because you're sober. Well, he's, he's doing really, really well. Probably. Like that, Emma? Yes, but shut up. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get off the phone so I don't use up a whole bunch of time. Okay, sweetie pie. I'm going to Disneyland on Sunday, eh? Yeah, yo. I know. I, I will, I'll probably give you guys a call tomorrow for a bit. Okay. When I see Jabba the Hutt, I'm going to have him sign Lauren Armstrong. <laughs> I love you, fatty. All right, I love you guys. Okay, bye. Lauren. An inmate at Piscataquas County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this thank you for using Akiris. You may start the conversation now. Hello. You know. Hey. Hey, what's up, buddy? Yeah. Uh, she's still taking... I want to see if we can call that before me again. She's Sorry. taking a dump still. She's, she's wrapping up. I can yeah. do it. Okay, I'm here for you. All right, thanks, Will. All right. Hey, Lauren, I'm still trying to get a hold of her. Sorry. Okay. I'm trying to find the number. Okay. Thank you for calling Carnival Cruises. This is John. Yeah, hi, I'm looking for Debbie. Do you have a last name, sir? Is, is it Reynolds, I think? Terrible names. I don't think she has a last name, eh? Cabin 316, one moment. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hold on, let me push the phones together so they're touching tips. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. I, I, can, I can barely hear you. I can hear her, she said yes. Okay, can you put the phone up so, I, so we can talk to each other? They're touching tips. Hello. Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, I can't hear you as good as I could the other day. How you doing? Can you go now? Huh? Hello? Oh, she hung up. She said she couldn't hear something. She said, can I go now? Well, I couldn't hear her either. All right, well, she probably couldn't hear me. Uh, uh, yeah, she was responding. You said hello, and she'd say hi back, and then you were just, you kept saying hello, and she's like, I'm out of here, this you know, dummy. Yeah, obviously, she didn't want to talk to me today. <laughs> I guess so, not. What do you think she's doing? I'm not going to care. Whatever she wants. Okay, I'll let her know that. All right. I'll text her and say, right. hey. Don't hang out! But... Why? I'm wiping! She's just, it's a real nasty one. She's been in there for, I don't even know. So gnarly. Here, 20, I just... 20, 30 minutes now. Here, you wipe it while I talk to him, please. All right. Thank Can you. Can you at least bend over one of I am. Okay. There. Hi. Hi. So, are you out yet, sweetie? Uh-huh. Are you out yet? No, obviously no. No, I'm still in there trying to clean it. Oh. If I call on that view, we got her about she was near me and I could near her. Oh, she said she uh, was going to have, yeah, she's going to have a, pl a, a packed day of plans. She didn't want to talk to me too bad now. Ugh, what is she, a moron? Of course. Somebody should want to talk to you. You're the great and powerful god. Huh? Yeah, I love 
Scorpio, don't say whatever to me like that. I'm expressing loveliness. Okay, well, I don't know what you want me to do. Emma took off the, um, the note for people to write to the, your, um, to the judge. She said to write to your attorney. Okay, good. Thank you. And I tweeted Donald Trump and I copied the tweet to Mitch McConnell. And it said, your attention is greatly needed for a great injustice. And I put the best picture of you I could find. <laughs> yes, sweetheart. And then I chose one that had your clothes on. <laughs> oh, I hope you didn't send any inappropriate things. No, I sent one with your shirt off where you were um, cleaning the dog pen to show you were an animal lover. That's a good way to appeal to the masses, you know? And also, because you have a great physique, and the thirsty-ass women are going to be like, Hooray, look at them biceps! I'm going to throw money in a tweet his way. Okay, no more pictures without me, without me having clothes on. Okay, but you weren't nude. Clothes. It wasn't explicit. It's because you're a hard-working that, man. That's, that, that's all right. Any pictures you send anywhere, make sure I've got clothes on. I won't send any of the nudes or none of the butthole ones or nothing like that. What day? Winning. So the Bible yeah, pictures? Wait, thinking about what you're saying. You know you're on a recorded line. Oh, I'm sorry. I I was just kidding. When you're sending butthole pictures? Yeah. No, well, that didn't happen. Oh, sorry. What? What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. Uh, realize I'm on a recorded line, Will. Oh, I didn't realize. Sorry, I, I won't talk about your butthole pictures anymore. <laughs> the caller has hung up. <laughs> Press 1 to repeat. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. You already got my um, my money? No, I, mom, I had mom drop uh, some more money off. Oh. Did, did you send it yesterday? Yeah, and then I sent it, but it didn't get into the mail until today because we sent it at 5 and the cutoff is 4 o'clock. Okay. How much did you send? She, I don't know, like 60, I don't know. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be in here till Thursday. My detention is going to be, my detention hearing will be on the 22nd, which is next Thursday. Oh, okay. So then we're going to see if I, can get, if I can get me out for a little bit so that I can take care of some stuff. So the, the, I, I have an idea and uh, there's going to be some stuff that I'll be talking to. You and Emmett W. Cool. Once I'm out of here. Once I'm out of this place, so I'm out of the place where it records. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to do that because well, they're being unfair, so why should we give them an advantage? And that's right. Well, I know that the judge that they have you um, seeing is really conservative, and he likes to give people the max sentence, the only if they redo their original crime. And you didn't, so it should be cool, you know. Much, much different one. No, Woodcock. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. um yeah, he's a conservative judge and when people get in trouble for a probation violation he throws the book at them. However, you didn't get in trouble with your original charge, you see what I mean? And like he probably won't be that hard on you. <laughs> I said hard on That's right. Okay, yeah. Now I now I'm gonna need uh, yours and Emma's help, okay? You need what? An insult? Uh, no. You're stupid! <laughs> listen, listen, you gotta remember we're being recorded on this thing. I know, but they already know you're stupid, sweetie. I'm just kidding. Uh -huh. I'm gonna need yours and Emma's help, okay? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm gonna need letters uh, from people uh, you know, that, that support me. To, to get to the judge. But actually, what they need to do first is they need to send it to my lawyer, so that way my lawyer can go through it, can go through them to make sure that they're, they're all good letters. Okay. So. Does your lawyer know you're going to do that plan? Yeah. You have to find out. Well, it was his idea to do that. 
Oh, that's a good idea, man, you have for a lawyer, huh? Yeah, you have to, you have to find out my lawyer's email address because I don't know what it is. His, his name is Matt, Matthew Morgan. Oh, that's your lawyer. I looked him up. He looks like I'm um, like a kid. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that that's my lawyer. So if you can find his email, that's where they send the uh, the letter to. Oh, you want them to email okay. the letters? Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need as many as possible. <laughs> Yeah, even even Chris Hansen. Um, but uh, okay, I'm writing this down. Write letters, email to Lauren's attorney, not underlining that, not the judge. Right. That's right. Okay. Do you want Emma to write you a bunch of letters under different names? No, 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 no. <laughs> Just kidding. I know we're being recorded. All right. And, Wink. Um, uh, um, and I also looked up your counselor. Oh, my God. They said they're going to put a cuff on your penis. I, I, I don't know what that means, but don't, uh, no, more talk, uh, no more mention of that word on, on this uh, injury recorded call, okay? No, right. I understand. But, however, this is not an explicit conversation. I am looking at your motion to reopen detention hearing filed by your attorney, and it says here that you have to pay for the sex offender treatment services, and that does include a limestone cuff on your penis to measure engorgement. You should tell them that that is inhumane and humiliating and that you don't want yes. to be offended against again by them. Yeah, well, they, they better not be trying to do anything like that. That's No, no, I'm not lying. It says it right here. Okay, well... I'll, Watch, I'll ask the lawyer. All, all Polygraphs, $300 listen, each. Listen. That's please, ridiculous, listen. baby. Okay, listen. Please do not... When I'm trying to talk, please don't go off on any rants and stuff. Yeah, I know, but you want to tell me some stuff that I already know about, but I want to tell you about your case. You don't know about this? No, I don't, but I'll, I'll find out about that. that well, I'm not worried about that. I'll deal with that when that comes. Okay. I'll deal with that when that comes, okay? Okay. No, no. Um, okay, what about your sister? She's still in Alaska? She comes back Thursday. Okay. Where's Emma at? Outside. She's outside. You still at the hers and Dan's Airbnb house? Yeah, I'm staying with them. Will and I got into an argument because Will tried to come over and hang out with Emma when Dan wasn't here, and I walked in, and he accidentally had his pants down. He said it was an accident. All right. Okay. Don't tell me about that. Not over this line. No, he got a tattoo on his leg. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, okay. I, I understand. You should get a tattoo um, on your arm that says freedom, because that's what you deserve, I think. I, I know. I know. Okay. I'm, I'm, you remember what you did with me and Debbie the other day, so me and Debbie could talk? Yeah. You want me to try to do it? I give, uh, not yet. Not yet. I'm going to give you the number to my work and to... to one of my bosses at my work, and I'm have you do the same thing, okay? So that, that way, it doesn't cost because it only costs me 21 cents a minute to call you and talk to you, and it costs a lot more if okay. I do it the other way. Me and Emma traded phones for a week. She said it was okay in case you called because she's with her family okay. a lot. Okay. 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 You, you ready? Uh huh. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna give, I'm gonna give you the number. It's two zero seven. Two zero seven. Don't you ever call these numbers that I give you, okay? Oh, please, listen. I'm on a recorded line giving you. My name is Winifred Paula. I swear to Jesus Christ and the state of um, Canada that I will not ever do it. And the Maine, too. That's right. I forgot. You're in the U.S. <laughs> I, I see that. That, that, You're that. close to Canada. I get it confused. Okay, I'm going to call a number, and I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to stand back. Okay. There we go.
There's lightning striking all over the world. Okay, I'm quiet now. Okay. I have reached Ron. I'm unable to answer the phone now. Please leave your name and I will call you back soon. Thanks. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Ron, this is Lauren. I, I know the number that you see come up when called you was a different number. But I'll, I'll explain that to you later when I talk to you next week. About the, when you see that number come up, you can you can answer it. I'm I'm still in the jail, and um, I'll give you a call back in about ten minutes to try to explain some stuff to you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Lenny. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I had it right. Okay. Did you hang up on him? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now try to call him Debbie, if you will, please. Okay. Thank you. I love you a lot, too. Just letting you know. I love you. <laughs> I love you, too, sweetheart. You're very special. And you better not be smoking. I'm only smoking a marijuana. Okay. That's legal here. It's okay. I don't do narcotics. Okay. I know. I know. Okay. It's ringing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for calling Beautiful Carnival Cruise Line. This is Darren. Hi, Darren. May I please have the cabin for Deborah Reynolds? Please hold. I'll try to connect you. Thank you. I'm sorry, ma'am. There is no answer at the cabin. I do see that she has had a reservation for um, late lunch today. Oh. Well, get her on the phone. I apologize, ma'am. I don't know how I can do that from here. Oh, God, you're useless. Okay, hung up on them. Okay. He said she had a reservation for what? A late lunch. For a late lunch? So what's up with her and this Duke guy? Oh, God. He's been whining and dining her, and he proposed, I think. She, she's being really quiet about it, but um, somebody posted on her Facebook, did you say yes? And then she deleted it right away. And then she said, oh, it's on the Facebook right now. Oh, she's at Captain's Lunch. She's at Captain's Lunch? Uh-huh. So she's not, she's not having sex. It's okay. I would hope not. Unless it's like a a person buffet like they had on Jerry Springer. Like, that would be cool. I want to put, like, um, lip cream on my forehead and say, here you go, Lair. <laughs> okay. Hey, 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 hey. What? Hey. We were doing that earlier. I was putting little Cheerios on his hands, and he was bringing his hands up to his mouth and eating them. It was fun. That's cool. And then we did it with olives, but I put the olives on his fingers like they were fingertips. And he started crying because <laughs> I ate one and he thought I was eating his finger. Oh, he's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was like, look, sweetie, it's OK. Then he started eating them and he probably felt really powerful because it doesn't hurt. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get out of here so I can actually be able to talk to you guys without being recorded. Well, 
having to worry about. All right, hello. Look. I'm Maria, can you I, hear me? Oh, there you go. Hot there. Yes, now I can. I couldn't earlier. No, oh, I, I was just saying I can't wait to get the hell out of here so I can talk to you without having to worry about the time and the cost and being recorded. I know. You deserve your privacy so you can do all the bad, I mean, all the stuff that you do that's not, you know, anybody's business. Like loving somebody or telling your friends you miss them. That's right. Okay, can you fill me in on what they're saying on the comments? Yeah. Please. Um, They said they're going to send all of the Ramona calls directly to the judge to show that you get drunk all the time. I told them not to, so hopefully they listen. I will crush them verbally. Oh. That's not. Uh, That's not smart. I told Emma to not do it. She said, "Everybody, please write letters to the president." Um, and you told her before to write letters to the judge. So that's what she told people. But I got to go tell her to take that off the internet. Right. Take but she didn't right. know. She was only doing what you said. Don't be mad, please. I know. I know. I know. I'm not mad because I, I I told her that. I know. Okay. Uh, I didn't know. At the, I didn't know at the time to not write letters to the judge, but to my lawyer. Yeah, because it's against the rules, probably, huh? Yeah. Well, the judges don't like getting letters because they get so many of them. They don't have time to go through that stuff. So that's why. So I'm you're going to be there till next Thursday, and they're probably going to let you out after that, so you can start going to class. Yeah. For. I don't know for how long. I'll have to go back in for a while to do it every time I have to do. But Aww, it should get you time served. L listen, listen. Okay. Out, that'll give me a chance. Getting out will give me a chance to get some things together and, and, and to get some things straightened out. Okay. Before I go back in. So uh, that's why... I need all of the letters that I can that are going to be supportive, so that way it, it'll help me get a lesser amount of time. It'll, be, it'll only be six months to a year. So I'm trying to do the six months, I'm trying to get the six months. That's why I need a lot of good letters. And that's why i got to call work and explain to them what's going on and all that, too. So, Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll get a second job so I can make sure you have nutty buddies and stamps, okay? No, sweetheart, don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll talk when I get out of uh, out of, on the phone. Uh, I don't have to be recorded. I'll, we'll we'll talk about some stuff, okay? Me, you, and Amanda, Debbie, we'll all, we'll all talk about some stuff because I have an idea. Plus, I'm gonna, plus I'm gonna work until I have to go back in anyway. But I'm trying to get okay. give me at least a month, a month to a month and a half. So you can get your affairs in order. That sounds fair. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God, baby. Are you going to lose your land? No. Okay. That's what, that's, what, that's what I'm trying to avoid. I had a bad dream that Roy called you from jail. And, no, I mean, he called you in jail, and he said, Hey, Lon, guess what? I fixed up your house, and now it's a two-story trailer, and it's mine. And then he said, Ross yeah. and Sadie, say hi to Uncle Lorne. I'm your daddy now. And it made me sad. No, that's that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen, sweetheart. Okay. No, Roy wouldn't do that. And he, he wouldn't be up to anyway. Okay. Oh, my God! Okay, what, what, what are you saying oh, my God for? I've got to say prayers to make sure the judge has the word six in his mind. Three times is a charm, and that way he won't give you 12 months, just uh, six. Okay. Okay, re uh, don't say six three times. What's wrong with you? Well, that's you say Candyman three times, and then he comes to the mirror. Come that's on, how life works. Winnie, come on. Come on. Uh, will you think before you say things like that? Yes, it's will voodoo you... witchcraft, okay? All right. Yeah, well, I don't believe in that stuff, so stop, please. Okay. Okay. Read, uh, read some comments, some of the comments to me, so I may have an idea of what's going on, please. All right. Jennifer Connolly says, Hey, Lauren, been listening to your chat log. When do you think you can finish it? I would be happy to donate to your cause. What cause? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I'm not, 
I'll try to figure things out later. Everybody's laughing at you for being in jail. This isn't good. Emma, come and delete these comments! They say, ha ha ha, Lauren, you're going back to prison and have fun touching your toes. Grab the ankles, it's time to play cornhole bingo. That's from Baked Salmon. Uh, these retards. Oh, well, here's one. I have listened to Emma's pleas to send you money in money order form. I have done so this morning. Thank you so much, Prince Rogers Nelson. Well, that's unexpected. Emma did say, please send Lauren some money in a money order that's a blank money order. Just in case, she told everybody on the East Coast who's your fan to do it, so it might get there before the overnight one that she got. Yeah, you remember helping me out a lot. We love you more than anything, of course. I know. I love you too. How is Lauren's mom taking the news? I would love to fund a nice spa day for her. She likely has a lot of worries on her mind dealing with her two gorilla children who can't put the sauce down. That's not even true. You and Roy have been sober for a long time. These people are going off the old info. That's right. They're going off very old info. <laughs> like, who cares what happened last month? Okay. Roy. Oh. Roy's... Oh, Roy, too, it says. Oh, they want to give Roy money to take your mom out to a fancy dinner. That's sweet. Yeah, that's nice. But I'm not going to tell them where to send money. It might be a trick. That's right. So I won't give them info, but there are a lot of supportiveness here for you. There's, um, oh, look at this one. I tweeted Donald Trump, hashtag free Lauren. Christ is with you wherever you are, Lauren. Just close your eyes and he is just a prayer away. That's, nice. That's sweet. Yeah, it is. It's really nice. Lauren's mom is a reverse leaf blower. That's stupid. She doesn't even work in gardening or landscaping. I'm deleting that one, too, when Emma comes in. Yeah. Some of these people... Lauren Armstrong has the best physique in Maine. It won't be going to waste, wink, wink. Well, that's good. That means he knows you're going to be healthy. Yep. Some of these people just... God, some of these people just make the dumbest comments. History shows orange is definitely Lauren's color. However, he should be free to wear it if he chooses. Lauren is not a construction worker. He drives truck, and he would do better in the community than sucking up, sucking up funds from the public in prison. Lauren was an upstanding person paying his taxes. Now we are paying to house and clothe him, and for what? Because he wanted to enjoy an, a relaxing night with a legal beverage. That might be true, too. Yep. Sad. No. All right, so I'm reading your thing here, and there, there's a huge list of fees. I'm glad you don't have to pay them. No. And they're not going to give you the engorgement cuff. The engorgement cuff is the worst part. I imagine some really big, smelly man putting it on you. And I said, Lauren has to say it's inhumane. It's a violation of your sexual rights. Yeah. Yeah, they won't be doing any of that stuff. That's not what that class is all about. But I, I've got, well, I got something to tell you and Emma and Debbie, but I can't tell you until... And you know what? If they did that, because you can't look at explicit material and you don't have pornography, so they're going to know that you don't really like little girls if they do that, because if you did, you'd be fucked, because yeah. you don't look at porn at all. So, like, one little bing, bing, bing will make it go, ka -choo 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 -choo. and that okay. is not a problem with but you, because you don't you like little girls. You like grown women like me. I'm fully grown, That's 32 right. years old. That's right. Okay. Now, will you listen, please? Yes, sir. I need I need an address that 
I can write a letter to you guys while I'm in here. That way, because a letter can't be recorded. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. I don't know my zip code. I'll text Will. Can, um, are we going to talk later today? Yeah, I'll, I'll hang up for a bit so, because we're going to be eating pretty soon. So I'll, I'll call back in a little while, okay? All right. It's time to go to the jail. Grab a hobby, I hope you have a nice lunch, and I'll ask Will to give me my zip code. All I know is the address oh, and the street. Just, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's, let, let's try my work again before we go. Okay. Hold on. Oh, God. After you told me I ripped up the number, I'm sorry. I need you to give it to me again because I didn't want a temptation. 207. Okay, muchisimas gracias. One second. I'm going to put it on mute. All right, it's it's dialing two one zero five five four three. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna put the phone away from everything so nobody can hear me if I have to have a flatulence. Okay. How's your ball? It's Ron. Hey, Ron. Can you hear me? Hello. Who's this? Hello. This Hello. Ron, how are you? Uh, oh, I've had better days. <laughs> Why are you calling hey, me uh, from Los Angeles, California? No, well, it's the way that I'm calling you because it costs less. Oh, all right. Um, but, um, okay, I'm going to give you the scoop on what's going on right now. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be here till till next Thursday, which is the 22nd. That I have a detention hearing, and we're gonna try to 22nd. Get me off. Yeah, we're gonna try to get me off for a little bit. But I'm gonna. He said he said that I'm gonna have to do some time because of probation violation. So it's second first probation violation is six months to a year. So we're trying to get six months. Which okay. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need some uh, some help from people that work to uh, write a letter uh, to the judge. They can send it to my lawyer to write a letter to the judge. Um, yeah. To to support me to try to get me a, a, the lesser sentence. Right. Oh shoot. Okay, let me give you a call back in a little bit. Okay. This service. Yep. All right. Now that I know the number, I'll answer. Okay. Okay, thank you, Ron. Thank you. He hung up before you said thank you. Okay. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Ron. I like that one. Um, so I definitely have been away eating, and I didn't see. So Scarlet, or SJ Maple and Scarlet. Uh, hey, hello, hello, hello. Um, oh, thanks again, Ramona's diaper. Um, so I want to keep. I was gonna keep playing them. Um, I might bring them back I'm gonna have to take my computer uh, down oh not down but I'm gonna have to turn the stream off for now um, I might do some a little bit later tonight I have to uh, go to the airport uh, Pence's cab service is having to pick people up so yeah I have to do that but yeah look at that three and a half hours so we did that I think that was this call was this just a call where it was talking to Lauren's uh, boss at RC Moore um, and he was just like, Lauren was just kind of like mini sibling his way, like, nah, you won't be, blah, be, blah, 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 blah. and then his boss was just like, that's all you need to know. That's, that's it. Like, <laughs> it, it's like music to my ears, clean as best pleasure when people in his real life just like, they treat him how he fucking needs to be treated. Like, if we're this dude wrong, just was like, I don't even fucking care. Like, you're a fucking clown. And it's good to see these interactions because then you get to really tell, like, the difference between how Lauren describes these people to, to everybody else, like all the internet people, how they actually treat them in, in life. Especially when um, talking to his mom, how fucking, 
high mighty he puts her and how she's just like literally just this old lady who's just like I don't fucking care um so yeah there's that there is that play Roush I should play some Roush uh, I might play some Roush before I leave I might I'd probably turn the stream back on uh, either before I leave or when I get back uh, depending because I don't want to have dead air um, but yeah, thanks again, everyone, for joining me and listening to three and a half fucking hours of Lauren Armstrong. Um, I'll be back. Hopefully, don't hurt me if I don't come back. But yeah, I'll try to come back on a little bit later. Um, so yeah, Mike Piant signing off. Sorry, Tron, no Roush right now. Uh, adios, muchachos. Fucking cocksucker.